Good morning, good morning. Happy Saturday, welcome back. How are we doing? I'm hoping my OBS is working today. <laughs> well, it's been a nice break, guys, but I'm glad to be back. Hope you've had a lovely uh, time off. Oh god, the resubs. I'm gonna have to let them calm down, aren't I? Crikey. Onamichi's throwing gifts around already. <laughs> Dude. And there it is. Onamichi dropping 20 subs on the chat. Thank you very much, Onamichi. That's a very nice welcome back. If you just got a sub, please give Onamichi a big thank you. Refresh your page, enjoy the emotes. I don't know whether to try and read this or just <laughs> wait for it to calm down. <laughs> Dear me. I thought we'd, we'd go with a chill game this weekend. We've got some more timber balling to do. We've got a good little town going on here, but I have plans. Hmm. I have plans. Some things I want to do. Just just remember how to play the game. <coughs> Actually, I think it was 10th of February I last played it, which was about six weeks ago. So I should be okay. What's going on here? Flooded? Flooded? How can, a, how can a pump be flooded? Whoa. Why is that? Ooh, interesting. Hang on. What's going on here? Why is everyone flooding? What did we do when, when we left this? Something's not right. Do I need to open this? Maybe that's it. I think maybe the I don't know. I, I don't know, I can't remember. Everyone's flooding. <laughs> Who was that? Kieran, thank you very much. Kieran for 25 subs gifted. Thank you, sir. Welcome very much. Welcome guys. If you got a sub, Kieran 110101, as opposed to 101101, is the man to give a thank you to. That's 110101, which is binary for something, but I can't be bothered to work it out. Thank you, Kieran. Refresh your page, guys. Enjoy the emotes. Give Kieran a thank you. I'm going to have to let those resubs calm down before I try and read them. Right, so we've got a problem here, and um, I can't remember what the problem is. So, water level is... 0.97, so it's normal there. So why does it suddenly flood here? Which is now causing it to back up, I think. Greatest depth 1.96, which is normal for that. Water level through here is 1.13, so it's, it's flooding backwards, which means it's coming back through here, which can only mean this is closed and needs to be opened to let the water out. It must be that. I think maybe I shut this because the bad water would otherwise get in, but what's happened is it can't escape. I think that's what's happening. So let's just drop this down to level one and see if that fixes the problem. Hmm, didn't expect that. <laughs> Yikes, yikes, yikes. Okay. While that pans out, I'm going to try and read out some resubs. Oh, that's just going to back flood everything. Oh, my God. It may not be able to get rid of water quickly enough. This is, this is not good, guys. There may be a structural defect here. Hmm. Okay, it, it, I think it's 
gradually. Moving Morning, away. Paul. <laughs> How are you today? And the 110,101 is my date of birth, 11th of Jan 2001. Hey, there you go. Now, what you need to do is work out what that is from binary into decimal, and that number is special to you, right? Uh, Wallex, thank you for 31 months. I'm going to try and read some of these guys. Tuscan 76, Steampunk with 47, Delta with 13, J Bowen 39, The Saddam with 31. Craigasus 26, Buccaneer Dan 67, Decode Monkey 92, Anonymous Moose with 72. Happy anniversary. Kieran with a tier 3, 41 months. Thank you very much, Kieran. Onimichi then dropped the first sub bomb of the day. A Nexa 55, Cowling 93, Pups with 88. Wait, hang on, Pups. What are you doing resubbing? You normally wait till somebody gifts you a sub. <sighs> Bob, thank you for 29 months. Uh, CHR with 35 months. Firefighter with 111. Uh, finally, my streaming withdrawals are cured. Glad to see you back. Thank you, sir. Kieran then dropped 25 subs. I don't think this water's going away, you know. I think we've got a huge issue here. I honestly don't think this is going to fix itself. I need to stop the input of water what we can do is shut this off open that let's stop the water coming in temporarily we can also divert water that way uh whereas this way we can push water through here if we want to yikes 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 that is bad Jones for 68 months, Des Sanator with 44, 411s. 79 months for Dummy Monk, uh, Banalar 26, Chris with 21, Hannah with 104. Uh, coffee in hand, bit of Timberborn. Perfect way to start the week off. Oh, you like Timberborn, don't you, Hannah? Uh, 104 is the atomic number of Rutherfordonium, and the number of symphonies written by Joseph Hayden. Okay. Mr. Kieran. Thank you for a very generous donation and good morning to you. The 11011 is the date of birth. That's cool. I, I can't do that because mine's like 26, so it doesn't work for me. No binary in my date of birth. J Jinx with 23. Repel with a year. Happy anniversary. Sniffer, 99 months. You are sniffing the VIP, sir. Enchanting vids, 8 months. Trembo, 31. Digital 10 City 22 and Phil with 113 months and I think that brings me up to date. And I also think we may have stopped the flooding. Which is good news. The bad news is we're not letting water back in. Okay, but we have a fix. So, we put that on 0.5. And we put that on 0.5. That will allow some water through there. That will then keep that on about a half. Which won't be enough to get through that. But does divert some water away from coming through here. Let's see if that balances. Interestingly, that's that's got rid of all the bad water that backfilled this way. It's kind of pushed it out. I would still like to do something here. To kind of push this bad water in that direction, I think. Uh, this is... How do we say your name? LK, I think. Thank you, sir. Congrats on getting your commercial license or going for it. Right, let's whisk through the night and see how we're looking. Just speed this up and then see if the water settles down. Is the bad water like sewage? So the, so the bad water is something that you can use to generate power from, which is what we're doing here. You can use the movement of it to generate power. But if your beavers go in the bad water or touch it, they'll get sick. 
and it also corrupts the ground around it so you can see it basically kills off all these trees and uh, anything within range of it just gets completely nuked yeah so it's bad it's bad water it colors the ground this kind of color so it's um like radioactive effectively <coughs> Maybe blow up the land on the bad water side to let it go further away from the good water. Uh, do you mean... Well, hmm. You mean this land here? Yeah, we could do. I think what I want to do is probably grab these trees, actually. Might as well get all this wood. And then I was thinking... I was thinking about... Um, possibly... What was I thinking? Yes, this bit here this bit yeah if we allow the water to flow from i think it's this level if we take that down water will flow this way and it'll come back that way and it'll fill all this basin up here and this basin will then turn green and it'll go all the way back to there and there and that will turn all that green which could be quite useful so i think Ideally, we want to probably dam, maybe dam like here. And then we'll get all that flooded with water by taking this lot out. That was my big plan. But we'll need wood to do it, and there's plenty of dead wood here. So I think what we can probably do is mark some trees for cutting. Like that. We'll need a lumberjack nearby, though. <clears throat> uh, Onamichi, thank you for gifting a sub to you. This is Elkade and Mad Dog 49 Dread Girl with a 17 and Harry Potter with 80. Right, lumberjack. Can we put the lumberjack there? And then we'll need to be able to get up here as soon as we are able to. And we'll need somewhere to store the wood as well, not too far away. Maybe we could put... We're a bit limited for space here. That tree is annoyingly in the way. how they cope with that right we've got our little power battery system over here which is kind of cool which is currently charging <laughs> is the lumberjack, lumberjack okay do you mean this one should be he's quite far from the district and that's the other thing we might have to think about another district over here over here, maybe. I would really like it if you would cut that tree down first. Rather than just walk through it, bro. He pretty much does, Hannah. He does actually sleep all night and work all day. That's exactly what he does. Right, so we need to build a pathway through here. Just so they can get at these as well. Because if we're going to flood... We're going to flood this area. Will they actually... No, they're dead now, aren't they? They won't grow back, will they? Right, I need to take stock of the situation. How are we doing on food and stuff? The building is not connected to any paths. That's because they won't cut the tree. 
Can I just demolish that? Demolish buildings. Mark resources for demolition. Please, just get rid of it. I love how they literally <coughs> walk around that tree and do other stuff. Andy lad, thank you for 23 months. Hope you had a rela nice relaxing time away. Dude, I... That first week, I, I felt so much better for resting. I really did. It's only when you stop and rest that you realise how worn down you've got. <laughs> so yeah, I got a lot of energy back. Okay, how are we doing for stuffs? Right, 895 logs. Uh, do we not have any planks? Planks, 267 planks. 250 resin, that's maxed out. 97 scrap metal, that's okay. There is actually a mine down here. So we could think about grabbing that. Uh, how's the food situation? Some berries, mostly bread. Cattail crackers is going up. Grilled potatoes, we cannot make enough of. They are... They are insanely in demand. Like, as soon as they come in, they just go. Grilled chestnuts. Did we... We did grow some chestnuts somewhere, I seem to remember. I seem to remember having a little forest. Was it them? Yeah, I think those. That's an eight-day cycle. I think that's our little chestnut factory. Oh, I forgot we built this. <laughs> I love that. That's so cool. Right, how are we doing for water? Because water's always the biggie. 1643. I don't think that's trending upwards, though, is it? You want to ride on it, lol? Power, we are overproducing with the wind relatively low. Okay. I might end up with a DMCA, Hannah. You never know. Right, let's put this path in. Just need that square to be dealt with. Okay, so if we're going to flood this over here, through there, we're going to need a dam probably across... Anywhere over here would do, which means we're going to need a big staircase down here so we can build a dam there, aren't we? So if we go like... Oh, no. Go like that. Good morning, Paul and chat. Thought I'd pop in before I have to go. Hope all is well. I reckon I know who this is without even looking. Probably somebody that likes steam. Oh! It's Chris Steam. Thought I'd pop in before I go and do something more interesting. Thank you, Chris. Good to hear from you. Enjoy your trains. <laughs> Probably going to the pub, yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, what we need is a... How do we want to do this? Actually, can we get flow out of that? Could we get water flow out of this? Possibly. We'll put a levee there and we'll have...
actually what we'll do have a floodgate there a levy there that we can get rid of and instead we'll have that there we'll do it that way and then we can probably harvest these it's loud so it's at the bottom of the pint <laughs> Okay, they're finally chopping some trees down. Whoa. Are they just not going to remove this? It kind of feels like they're not going to remove it. Uh, Nekolo, thank you for 116 months. How long is it going to be before we get another drought event, I wonder? We could probably do with some more hamster wheels, because when we do get a drought, I think power's going to be a bit of a problem. I'm just worry about having too many construction projects on the go. It's like 40 logs. That's not too bad, actually. You kidding me? Why did I put that junction there? What an idiot. That was stupid. Maybe I envisage a power line. I'll probably envisage buildings here rather than just... Hmm. Grumble, grumble. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. At least we can get it done while they're not being used. Oh, yeah, I've got some more dynamite to blow up. There you go. Flatten that top. We could, in theory, flatten this whole thing and then use that for production. Or we could leave it there and put wind turbines up here. I don't know. Anyway, we need to get over to here as well. This is coming along slowly. I think maybe what we can do is build that way. And then try and link that up to this somehow. We're not really got a, a footpath going this way yet. Potentially do it over there. On the platform. Oh, I can't build there because of that stuff. I have to delete this. Apparently, you can't grow cattail underneath a platform. Who knew? So platform to there, then we need to go up on a staircase to here, probably. Or we could just turn that way. Could follow it round. Yeah, we could do a suspension bridge, I suppose. The trouble is, we need to get a... Probably need to put a platform there anyway. And I think that's at a higher elevation. So we probably need 
a double there. And then a single like that. then we can go that way or we could elevate up doesn't make it make any difference really we could even just get rid of this stuff was demolition where's the um where's the dynamite <laughs> demolish buildings no where's my dynamite stick landscaping there we go great Get rid of that. We have dynamite, let's use it. Not sure what I did, but why did I build that? I think that was a mistake, wasn't it? Hey, Ball Pro, welcome back for 33 months. Robbie Robinson, thank you for eight months. Mr. Breach, you with 17. Okay, how are we getting on over here? Finally got rid of that, which means I can put a footpath in there. Okay, so they, he should harvest all those now, which is good. Aha. Now we can probably build lumberjack down here we'll put these on top priority is that way somebody can cut the logs to make this stuff well yeah I think we can build a mine on here um, however, it might be better to have a separate district around here once we get it flooded with water. Set it up as a separate district. They can produce metal. Uh, they could grow wood or they could grow food. And they ship it back to the main town. I don't know. I think you figured out to keep the walls and close the water wheels to keep Flossy through all of them. I remember doing that. Yeah, I think you're right, but I think... That was a mistake initially, wasn't it? I think that we ended up building this and tightening the walls through here to keep the velocity. Um, I, I think that was an error, or we were trying to stop the water coming back or something. See you later, Chris. Now, why have they not been cut down? Just full on log storage, probably. Yeah. We are very full on log storage. Got logs absolutely everywhere. We're just not cutting through it quickly enough. Treated planks. Lots of logs here. Oh, these are on pause, that's why. No, they're not on pause, that's a lie. They're on pause. Now these are all on, aren't they? Maybe we should make some more factories. I'd kind of like to build another battery. Um, I'd, I'd love to build a battery up here. I really want to get the battery thing here. But getting up there is a bit of a pain. <laughs> it's doable. I think off this backside would work. If we perhaps demolish this lot, if we can gradually just chip away at all that and make just a, a sheer drop. 
off the back of that. Actually, probably here's better. Can make a crazy battery drop there. Even like twice as high as this one. If you build a few of them up here, I reckon that might get us through a drought and help buffer the power. We've got a footpath here. We could perhaps scale this somehow. Not easy. We've got the wood for it, so why not? Let's see if we can figure our way up this thing. A metal platform. A gigantic platform held up by a sturdy column. What is that? That takes 200 metal. 200? You went up on the right of the stream coming down. That's where I'm... Well, I'm thinking we can get up here. I'm just wondering what would you use this platform for? Because it takes 200 steel. Which is an awful lot. Is it literally to help elevate the battery thing? They're two by one. Great place for more wind farms up there as well. True. Benefit it only takes one tile on the foundation. Yeah, I suppose so. Build that there. But you'd have to build it here. So we don't need that ground. We don't need any of this. We could demolish all of that. We don't need it. How far up can a be can a beaver reach? Like, can he put that down? Uh, Adobe, thank you for almost three years. I've got some very exciting to share with you. I'm going to be driving a Formula 4 car on the Red Bull ring two weeks before the F1 race. <laughs> nice one, dude. Nice one. Rally, thank you for 78 months. Yeah, I don't use the ladder mods, Costell. I'm normally using platforms later on to make space for the crops and make the civilization on the platform. Oh, you build houses up there. Is that what you're saying? You put the platform and then build houses on top. One up, down, no limit. Interesting. Get one there, one there, like that. Oh, I can't do that. You can't turn. You can't turn and climb in this game. That was a mistake. You can't turn and climb. We have to go up to that level. We have to do something like that instead.
I still messed it up, didn't I? <laughs> okay. That'll do. Those pesky beavers, they'll climb anything. We also kind of want to demolish this stuff down here, so I reckon we go stick of dynamite. We can do with removing all of this to be fair. Do that so they can get in the water and put things over there. Stairs at the top are wrong. Uh, yes, they are. They are wrong. Very wrong. How did no one is that? I remember there's a water problem with the battery weight hole as it could not be in the water. Yes, I remember because what we had to do was build a box around it to allow it to drop into because if it drops into water, it doesn't count, basically. So we'll have to demolish all this and then effectively build a box for, a, for the battery to drop into, basically. And then as soon as a drought comes, all that water can drain away. Uh, right, I asked them to build dynamite over here somewhere. I know you can. I saw you'd done a flight on Vatsim, Baz. <laughs> I know that, that was a big thing for you, Baz, so congrats. We still can't convince Alex to do it, though. All right, I'd like to join these two up so they can get around this way. Kind of makes sense. I think we can have... Something like that. You've got batteries that go three tiles deep in the water. Yeah, the problem I've got, Phil, is that right now I don't have um, the ability to make... What do they call that stuff? Extract. So I can't make these um, double, triple dynamites. And I can't remember how we make extract. Which building is it that does extract? There must be a reason why I haven't got it yet. Extract is made from bad water. Yeah, but we've got... Hang on, hang on, hang on.
We are making the radioactive stuff because we're putting it in these things here. So we have bad water, but we need the building to make extract. It's a centrifuge. Yeah, I can't remember where it is. Dirt excavator. Contamination barrier. Terrain block. Centrifuge, there we go. Uh, that requires 200 power. Okay, it looks like we can make it. We've got the metal for it. Have we got cogs? Yes, we could make that. Okay, so... I need to check on the situation with our workers. I think we've got 18 people not doing anything. So we better start putting some people to work, I think. Right, this needs to be connected to our power grid. So we can either put it down here, but I think somewhere near the water would be a better bet. There's a potential to drop some power off that thing there. So we could perhaps... tuck it in there. I don't think we'll need a lot of these, will we? I don't know how much we're going to use extract. Then we'll need to grit power. Did I really? Can that? That needs to be a quad, doesn't it? I presume that'll connect me. I think that needs to be replaced with a quad. Thank you, Pep. I had a good break. Thank you, 45 months. Um, EV, thanks for 85 months. Okay. I'm wondering about when we're going to get another drought. Can't be that far away. Nothing to do in range. I'm surrounded by trees, but you didn't tell me to cut them down, so I'm just going to sit here and quietly do nothing. I just do what I'm told, Squirrel. You know, you did tell me to cut those specific trees down, so I didn't cut those specific trees down. I kind of feel like dead wood should be automatically marked for cutting like what else are you going to do with it seriously don't think we're ever going to get good water through here there's a lot of metal here blimey As soon as we have 17 beavers doing nothing. Wait, is our science maxed out? Where's our science production? Okay, let's go to a few of them. Keep the dead trees around as decoration. Decoration? Decoration? We don't decorate this place. We're going to flatten it. We're going to put concrete everywhere. <laughs> I've just realized that they've got sap on them, though. What we need is a scavenger flag or three. Can actually get a lot of metal out of this. 
and three scavenger flags and then I reckon underground pile a thousand signs blimey I think we need anything quite so grandiose Metal blocks, no scrap metal. And this will be a supply. So hopefully they'll take it from here and shove it in there. That's equally a supply. So I've got six unemployed. Right, that's built. Um, that's now built to here. We're pretty much getting close to being able to just trash. In fact, I think we can get rid of this now. Now we've got the dam in place. I think we can actually bust this and let the water back through. Oh, they couldn't build that one, would they? I should be able to build that now. Need to get them... I need to get them down into the water, really, so they can get rid of this. That's probably the easiest way. It is quite far away from the town, but it shouldn't really matter too much mechanic. It just means it's inefficient. Like, earlier, the earlier version of the game would stop you doing it. Now it allows you to do it, even though it's very inefficient. Like, it takes ages for the workers to get out of bed and walk all the way over here, so they waste time. But it's better than nothing until we get another district ready. I think we can mark these for demolition. Is that a building or is that rubble? That will then backfill this way through here. And sit level with that and that. We can't, I think we will build homes in the area. Um, I'll build homes. Then we'll need to sort out their food supply. I'm just conscious about food at the moment. It's looking okay. But if we build a load of homes, we'll end up with more unemployed beavers and mounts to feed. Do I need to mark that as... Do I need to mark this as something to demolish? Or will they just do it? I can't remember if you need to mark metal or not. Like you do with wood. I think they just do it. They do it automatically. Cool. Building lacks power. Oh, this is going to be painful. This is going to disrupt our power chain. It's 
top priority. I mean, they've literally got the logs here, so... It's okay leaving a small warehouse of explosives outside, isn't it? I heard it's okay. Nothing bad happens. So once that's got power, it will produce extract. How do we store extract? Yeah, is it a tank? Okay, it's up and running. I'm wondering if we build a water tank over here, it means the beavers can come and get a drink more easily. I don't know if that's how it works, but we'll try it. Like a fresh water tank where they can just come and grab a drink, save going all the way back there. Okay, are we getting on? Right, we can get rid of them. I really wish you could do a diagonal footpath. Is it possible to pipe water from a pump to a water tank? No. They... they they have to carry it, annoyingly. So what happens is your pump has like a local buffer of water. And when that fills up, it stops pumping. And then somebody has to come along and physically move the water. Which reminds me, we could do in another hauling district. Got one there. I think we need one down here. A lot of stuff going on down here now. Where's the... District management hauling post. You can always put this in another district later. See if that helps them to do their job better. Day 10. We are so due for a... Uh, I'm going to save it. Tea Lakes. 27. I think we're really getting close to a drought. How's this getting on? Ooh. Exciting. You know, if you do your detonation at night, it's probably safer. I think we need to get rid of these. Are we making bigger dynamite now, possibly, or able to make it? We have no extract. What's this thing doing? You think one of the beavers is stuck? Whereabouts? Uh, stranded. Where is he? Dude! What the heck? 
Mate, how on earth have you managed that? Seriously. Just got to build all this stuff just to rescue this guy. Numpty. I'll have to wait till morning. I don't know, he's somehow managed to... I don't, I don't know. He's... Who knows? Who knows? Hopefully that will fix him. Once I build that. Yeah, maybe you did. Maybe you fell off. Fell off the platform. Alright, stand away, boys. Stand away. Okay. So, I'm wondering... We can build a platform there. We can even overhang one of these metal things. Where have they gone? It's very difficult to see. We, we hang one of those like that, and then we can hang another one there. And that should give us... One, two, three, four... Three batteries can do a big drop. Unless we can think of a more efficient way of doing that. That's going to take up 200 metal. That's most of our metal here. And then we just got to demolish everything underneath. Why can't... Must be built on the ground. No! can't do that you cannot build a metal platform on a wooden i mean you know it makes sense <laughs> you can't build this giant metal thing on top of that but that's still annoying however we could in theory detonate all this back as well actually we can detonate that lot that line there possibly Should then allow us to put one here. I reckon one there, one there, and one there. Like that. And then you just basically carve the ground out to allow that drop. So you've got to get rid of this line and dig down as much as you can to stop the water going in. It will be crazy battery storage, but I like the idea of it. I really want to try it out. I think you could build a metal platform on a levee. Well, it does say it has to be built on the ground. Whether it counts the levee as ground, I don't know. Right, now, what we need to do is drain the water away from here, which means we'll need a floodgate Probably. The water comes through there. To make sure that water doesn't come through. You don't need to drain the water. Well, we could always... Allow it to go in a drought, I suppose. So, 
that line needs to be dug, which means this line has to be built up. We can't build anything more than one single levy, can we? I think we need to do that. Is that right? It's really hard to see if that's in the right place. One to the right. Is the... I think that's right. The water does affect the weights, Phil. We tested it last time, mate. No, it seriously does. When we built this, if we allow water in there, it stops the power. It reduced the power. We definitely tested that. That should be enough. Can even allow them to walk over there. Because why not? Thing is, we've got to get them up there so they can actually build the battery. And that's going to take a lot of metal. Uh, Giacomo, thank you for 31 months. Peterbilt, thank you for 83. Pit CC, thank you for more Amazon's money. Okay, we'll just leave them, let them get on with that. Uh, are we producing? Yes, we are. We've got extract. So we can now start to plant deeper deeper exploding dynamite as it were the issue we've got is we've got, we've got to get up here actually they can come to there can't they put dynamite on there triple dynamite 1.2k of science yikes I'm hoping they can reach that. Okay, power's doing okay. I think I'd like to have a lot more wind turbines going on though. I think we'll get rid of these little bits here because they're annoying. And then we could just build turbines if we want to. Right, this hasn't been removed because they can't get there. So we'll solve that problem. It also means we could potentially start hitting that up. You're burning the research points fast. Yeah, we've got plenty of people working on science, though, so we should get it back fairly fairly uh, quickly. We can actually build more of these. We've got spare people kicking around. This is like the science, uh, science park. <laughs> you have a pump near the dam. You can probably fill the water... You can probably fill up the new water tanks if you have a pump near the dam. I have many dams. Which pump do you mean? Which dam? I'm not convinced that we're producing enough water, you know. I think we're going trending downwards because these should have filled up by now. Well, the observatory costs a thousand as well. And it requires 200 power. Produces 10 signs. 
That produces one science, blimey. So that's fine as long as you've got power, but we may have to build one. We've got the resin, we've got the gears, we've got the planks. Yeah, we could build one. I presume it needs beavers. Only beavers allowed to work in this workplace, yeah. How big is it? I feel like I want to put it on a little hill. <laughs> It's just because it'll look cool. Not enough science points to unlock the observatory. Oh well. The irony of that. That's true, actually. I need power. That's a very good point. Yeah, that's a very good point. We can't do that. It needs power. Uh, Nuke Chef, thank you for 32 months. We're slowly building up the extract. Oh, imagine, imagine your thighs hauling a big block of metal up that staircase. Imagine your thighs. Looks <sighs> like you have a water pump down. Um, as in one turn, well, we've got one turned off. To be honest, I want to replace that with a big water pump, I think. We're also pumping out of the water here, and I kind of want to pump out from somewhere else as well. See, this is non-critical water for us. This is used to keep everything going. And if you want to pump water, here's better. Because if you pump all that dry, it doesn't really matter. Maximum depth four. Which means you could pump like that. Uh, Dark CC, thank you for 23 months. Didn't I build a... Yeah, there we go. I was going to say I built a massive thing, didn't I? Why is that completely empty? I can't actually tell if that's got water in it. Oh yes, it is. Oh, that was that's so cool. We built our own little water buffer, I guess you would call it, to sort of grow these trees. I like that. I have no control over this water, and it's not dammed off. This is dammed off, though. Two big water pumps there. Because I just feel like that is not trending upwards anymore.
These guys are thirsty. Uh, could you dam this section off and store it for more water since the wall's pretty high? Uh, we have got it dammed off, effectively. It is dammed off. It's not very deep. It's only a block high because that's all it'll allow. The other thing you could do, of course, is just... We could just detonate that so that we have even more water. So one thing we could do is put pumps here and then just effectively detonate a big area there to act as a giant water sink. Which gives you more storage of water in the event of a drought. Yeah, so they're not rushing to build this because they're focused on that. I think we'll make that a lower priority. Presume they're not building this because it's not the not reached priority yet. That is basically sucking all of our metal. <laughs> Where is the um, the smelter? What does the smelter look like? There he is. So the smelter doesn't actually need um, power, does it? Oh, yeah, it does. Power input 200. Let's come back. Scrap metal is here. Metal platform's a bit of a waste. You can just go up as tall as you like with a wooden times three. Yeah, I guess so. They do look cool. I'm hoping they're gonna build this soon. Uh, Fox Mulder, thanks for five years. Glad to be here. Thank you, Fox Mulder. There's even room for another one, though. Bad tide approaching. Bad tide in three days. Okay, so that's going to pollute all the water, basically. We could really do with these water pumps finishing right now. Seventy nine. That takes two extract. Okay. Yep. 
Exactly time to suck in all the good water. Okay, so... I'm trying to remember how this works for us. We can basically block this water off. We shut these off. We shut that off. The tricky bit is trying to store as much water as you can before you... Um, Wait a minute, did we ever get... Why have they not demolished this? Come on. That one piece of staircase has stopped them from removing this. If we can get rid of that, it'll send water this way, which will help with the buffer. We also need to shut that off. So the bad water doesn't come back this way. Uh, I think I'm in standard beaker. Solid bond, thank you for 98 months. Oh, oh, oh. They finally put one there, look. Look at that. <laughs> got to detonate all this down, which means I've got to get it so that beavers can get there to lay all the all the diamonds. <laughs> because I don't think. Is there a limit on the... on how far... like, can they put that there? Can they reach that? I don't know what the limit is. You thought it was eight tiles. Somebody said it was down as no limit. I'm not so sure it's no limit, but... Hmm. Bad water source? Interesting. Interesting. That could be converted later. You can actually cap that off, can't you? Click on it to see if they're in range. It says waiting for materials, so I guess it is. Does that mean if you do that? That means you could potentially do that as well. Probably not that one, right? <coughs> I actually don't know. Doesn't really say. There you go, right. So that one you can't because you'd have to reach out, but they can do these. Which is interesting. I should be able to do that as well. The thing I'm not sure about is about removing that. I don't need to do this one. It's just them we need to do. You can dynamite to the center of the earth. How far down does the map allow you to go? I 
I don't know if they're going to get this built. Come on. I think water could be a problem here. We'll see. You got two days. Pretty much, they just, they just take some TNT and just drop it. They've obviously got little Bluetooth detonators. Right, so why can't they demolish this? What's stopping them demolishing this then? We just built that. Six hundred signs for the large tank. That is a big tank. Holy smoke, that's a big tank. Yeah, it needs metal, but we've got metal. It should get built. That's why I've deprioritized this thing, because it's taken all the metal. Can we get that detonated and filled up before we have to cut this off? That is the question. Oh, they've removed it. They can't work out how to get to that one. <laughs> Hang on a minute. How did they do this one and this one, but not this one? And then get back. I don't get it. How have they managed to do that one and then get back? That's, that's really weird. He must have gone to this one and then walked back over here and done that one and left it. Oh, he's here. Here he is. He's stuck. No, wait, he's doing it. That is now backfilling this with water, which is free free water storage for us. Oh, I don't think this is going to be ready. I'll have to demolish whatever's there tonight. Yeah, we've got more greenery now. Yeah, it doesn't matter, no, it's fine. I gotta wait till they're all in bed and then detonate. Ruby, thank you for 19. Supercars, thank you for 32. Okay, are they all in bed?
There you go. I'll give it a bit more water. Oh, look at that now. It's come all the way back through here. Gradually turning it all green. That's quite a large water buffer now. The only problem is it'll sink into this hole. <laughs> we should probably have water pumps here. Wait, what's in that green barrel? Extract. Wait, did they put the dynamite down and then put extract on top of it? The other problem right now is I don't know how long this drought's going to last. Dynamite times two uses three extracts. Yeah, but I just thought they'd... I don't know. I figured they'd make the dynamite on site and then bring it, not like mix it on site. Ciao, Jeff. So we need some kind of a ladder just to get up here. Now the thing is with the bad water is we're going to have... Bad water's still going to flow from here, so we'll maintain power. It'll just be a water problem. A fresh water problem. a bit more water no we don't we don't know how long it's going to persist and annoyingly this is not going to be finished in time to fill up before the bad water comes which is somewhat frustrating That's looking a lot greener. They've been busy down here, look at this. We could put wind turbines up here, possibly. Though today's bad water is hard as a killer. 
30 days bad water. Yeah, I mean, it would be nice if it showed us like a, a daily intake here. I kind of feel like it doesn't give you enough data. Like, what I want to know is, is this water trending upwards or downwards? And what is my daily production? And what is my daily intake of water? And then I can say, well, if I need 30 days, I need to multiply the daily intake by 30 and store that much water. And then I can, I've got numbers. I kind of feel like it's a bit of a guess unless I'm missing something. Uh, CS Fatman, thank you for 27 months. I shouldn't have to do that, though, Beaker, should I? <laughs> uh, I should probably move that chat. About. Got one tank built. Okay, bad water, here we come. Right, first thing we can do is try and back up some of this water. I'm going to shut that off. That will stop that from leaving, which will back it up this way. Where else do we lose water? We lose water... Here. We'll turn that off. And we also lose water over here. and fill this bit a little bit. There's always a risk of flooding, but I kind of need some storage in here. Seal that off. Two point one. That's fine. That's got a long space to backflow into now. It shouldn't back up too much this way. The tricky bit is actually flushing this out later. It's actually quite tricky to get rid of this. It tends to, like, bottle up there. Right, that's now contaminated. Shut that off. synchronized
You love Bieber's industrial here. Yeah. Ooh. This is not good. This has never happened before. Can I shut that off? They've now stood in contaminated water. Right, open that up, shut that off. It's that bad water's draining that way. Okay, I think we're okay. Let's seal that off. Cool. At the bypass all the way in the west can be opened. Lower the pressure of the basin and the bad water in the north. You mean you mean this? Yeah, we could we could open that. I generally shut that off because when the good water comes through, I want to fill this up quickly. But we can send it that way as well. That has made a right mess. <laughs> yeah, that, I made a mistake when I shut that off. I didn't think about it bottlenecking through there. This may well kill off the pines. We'll see. I'm more worried about these guys running through it, to be honest. Water's trending upwards, that's a good thing. He's a filling up. Yeah, I think the water's under control in terms of where it's flowing. It's just that it it's gonna contaminate that land a bit that it fell into. There we go. But it is dissipating now. It's all good. We survived. It's like rust, isn't it? It's like rusty water. It's the same colour. Uh, Spaguana, thank you for 29 months. M. Hoffman, thank you for almost four years. 
Lotus, how are you doing, sir? 114 months. It's been a war, but all good here. I hope you're well. Lotus. Wait, what's the main... So the main food's on 1.13. That's on 107. It's all good. Expecting that is... Get rid of that now. No more trees here. There never will be. Uh, this is dead land. We can actually put turbines on this. Probably just flatten all that. Put more turbines on it. Might as well. How many do we need in between? Two. Are these large or normal wind turbines? That's a large. Produces 300, produces 150. Twenty log, twenty planks, forty planks, twenty gears. Blimey. That's a lot of planks. Think is they're a completely different shape as well. That's how it gets on with it. And do you see how you're doing? Let's get rid of them. Lovely. Ooh. Two hours later. Thank you, dear. Well, that's great. I'm glad. I'm parched. <laughs> uh, USMC vet, thank you for 78 months. Why does it look contaminated? Uh, it's all the bad water here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How has that become contaminated? Is it somehow like... It must have overflowed. I mean, looking at the colour of this, you can see it's red here and then it goes blue there, which means... And this is a light blue, which means it came from here. And if it came from here, it must have come from here. How did it overflow? I 
Also, if that's on 0.5, how can that be on a level of 1.18? And not overflowing. I don't get it. I, d I don't quite understand how it's managed to flow into this. That's not good. I don't like that. Oh yeah, it's 0 0.61. Even so. The natural blocks are only 0 0.7 high, so it went over the top. Dang it. Okay, so we're going to have to dam this off properly because I can't have this. If I, if I had stuff growing in here, that would be a massive issue. And if I need that water for anything, like if I need to backfill water into here, I can't because this has now got contaminant in it. This is 11% contaminated. So I can't, this is no longer a buffer for this. So we're going to have to fix that. Because that can't happen. Hmm. So that's only a 0 0.7. That's outrageous. That is actually outrageous. I think what we'll do then Beaver is injured I think we'll dam this off here properly Build that and then we'll build that. I don't want them standing in that water. Trying to jam the entire world doesn't work in hard mode. You have to build reservoirs. Okay. drain the bad wash away. It is draining away. Oh, you mean let it go out of here? Yeah, I suppose so. Like you say, it's useless. Alright, we'll do that. We'll let it all go. Uh, D Storm, thank you for tier three, sir. Fifty six months. Good morning. Yeah, didn't see that one coming. I'm glad the bad water only lasted for four days. That basically taught me a lesson. <laughs> it taught me that this is a problem, and don't rely on natural dams. And it also taught me about a bit of a mistake up here. Because that's actually quite a narrow passage through there. So 
It's also a lovely place for some power generation. This is the critical area through here. 0 0.26. We need to let some more water through. Yeah, I think we could have a power district in the north. I think we can tap into that bad water. Uh, yes, it is the same game as last time. You can always top that up from here as well. That's on 0 0.05, so that's almost completely empty, which means that's going to be pumping from the little reservoir there now. Let's get rid of all that bad water. Nasty. There you go, so that's gone. That's dried up. I could do with a water sensor in here. Just so we can see what's left on it. I'm annoyed about that actually. That was a mistake. Never mind. How's the scrap metal production going over here? That's not too bad. Plenty of scrap metal coming in. Metal blocks too. Blimey. We are not smelting enough metal blocks. Need more smelters. I don't like the sound it makes when you click on the explosives factory. It's almost like somebody just dropped a load of TNT. Can a drought follow a bad water? No, there's always a gap in between. On normal mode, I don't know about hard mode. I feel like we need more smelters. But then again, I don't have any spare people. So maybe what we need is some free beds now. Maybe we need some more p places to live. Grow the population a little bit. Right, housing, triple lodge. Could sit like that potentially.
I don't think there are enough housing options in the game. Tom, thank you for eight to seven months. Twitch finding sneaky ways of hiding the subscribe with Prime. Dude, I've noticed the same thing. It, and when you sub with Prime now, when you go back, and it'll say, like, subscribe again. Well, that's the paid option. And they hide the Prime option. It's like they're trying to encourage you to accidentally pay for it. <laughs> it's not illegal. It's just a bit, hmm... They also hide the three and six months options, which in my opinion is just stupid. Like, that's just bad business. The building is not connected. Why not? Oh, it hasn't finished yet. That's an annoying shape. Right, that should give us space for another 18 or so. It's that one. Just want to not grow too quickly. Now, if we want to put a smelting array somewhere. We can put it over here where the power is. Is that connected to power? Yes, it is. Go on, verticals, the answer. Yeah, I will do at some point. Um, what are we doing? Smell time. going to be metal block supply and then where is the nearest scrap metal large pile of planks bad tide has ended Woo. there's actually room here to obtain uh, why can't they do it like literally why can't they do a two by two storage why is there a one by one and then it's a three by three why can't I have a two by two it's annoying How do you copy a formula from one to the other? Like, if I want to set all of these to be scrap metal obtained... You know, in uh, Factorio, you've got, like, an eyedropper tool. You can copy-paste from one to the other. Why can't you do that? Just hotkey one to the other. Copy-paste formula. <sighs> Control C. <laughs> right, let's, uh, let's see how we're getting on with this water now. Yeah, so what happens is some of it always traps over here. Just gonna let that flush out. Oh, it is NGC, it's brilliant. It's like the gold standard. Okay, so now we've built that. You can now tell it. to build will that be enough or do we have to put a levee here 
though. Which I don't want to do while that's bad water. That'll leak, yeah. I don't want to put it down yet until this has been flushed out. I think we'll also put a sensor in there. They should be able to build that though. Also, there's a lot of dead trees around here, so we could lumberjack store this lot. We reckon. It's how to use the Prime subscription. You're right, they don't make it easy. Just sneaky. They're real sneaky. Okay, it looks like that water's going. Which is great. So we'll block that off. one of them. The other one is this one. Okay, right. Still 54% contaminated, but it's dropping. See, annoyingly, most of the water comes rushing through here and then doesn't flow like that way, so it doesn't flush this out quickly. I'm not really sure what I can do about that. It's a really slow process. Open the other dam to the left. That will just send fresh water out even quicker. It'll even less of it will go that way. I don't think that reaches, does it? There's a block of water there it can't use. Yeah, but if I restrict the exit here, it'll flood that way. It's a tricky one. Twenty-seven. It's coming down. Have a word to use my prime sub. I'm now having to leave because I have an, an appointment to donate blood. Don't pass out. I remember years ago, used to give blood and used to give you a cup of tea and a piece of toast. Now they just go sit there, and then when you've not passed out, they go right. You can go now. Cutbacks. This is nearly dried out. I have to let some water through. Okay, so I think that is now fine. 2% contamination. We can open this up.
I did it last year, they had a lovely selection of biscuits and don't want to let anyone leave without a brew. What? Well, this was in London. Maybe it's different where you are. Tim Man, thank you, 39. In London, you didn't get anything. It's now 10%. See, if I send it in, it'll mix with the fresh water, which should, in theory, mean it's okay. ready I don't know how we're going to get rid of this I don't know going to decontaminate this water it's annoying just going to get it flowing and let it push it out I guess The flow right through there is not very good. Bad water pumps. Um, they would over time, but just mixing it with fresh water should get rid of it as well. Right, that's building up. This is now fresh enough to allow through, I think. 4%, 3% contaminated. I think that'd be fine. Yeah, now this only goes down four blocks. One, two, three, four, which is here. So that is actually deeper than it needs to be. So in terms of water storage, I don't need to detonate three deep. We can just detonate two deep. Is there a block deeper? Which is a bit annoying. So I've actually built them one level down.
Actually, I know what I was going to do here. I wasn't going to do that. I was actually going to build a platform across it. It's going to do that. That's one percent contaminated. That's zero percent. Beavers are more content if they get wet. Dude, they've got a shower. Somewhere. There you go. If they want to get wet, they can go and shower in front of everybody. It's a public shower. Quite literally a public shower. Shut that off. Can the water flow this way? And then we get the power from it. Carousel's over there, Baz. On the left. Heyman, how you doing? That should fill up and then go through there and help with the power flow. So I'm thinking. Wow, that needs like another 60 odd metal blocks. That's insane. What does our gravity battery need? 40 planks. We've got plenty of planks. 40 gears. We're a bit low on gears. Bit low on gears. We have plenty of log. Not enough gears. Two. What? It's like a production screen where we can see how many gear factories we have. How do we get an overview? Population, housing, power, distribution. Workplaces, maybe? Housing, storage, power, right. Workplaces, global view. We have two gear workshops. Distance to center, priority, workers, 
Prioritise buildings by haulers off. Production. Why has this place got such low productivity? Right, we need another gear workshop, maybe two. 120 horsepower. Near all the planks is the best place for it. Um, we don't have power. Could drop some power out of that. What about plank factories? Have we got enough plank factories? Lumber mill. There are five lumber mills. Lumber mill takes one log and makes one plank in 1.3 hours. That takes one plank and makes one gear in three hours. Blimey. That is slow, man. I mean, we don't seem to be short on planks. Oh, that's treated planks. I'm going to have to, like, change that cog so I can drop some power down here. These guys are all stood around doing nothing. I presume their output storage is full. Wheat flour. Maybe we need like a central warehouse and just store loads of stuff. Look at that. That's crazy. That's bread. It's literally Warburton's warehouse right here. <laughs> it's just mad. Just bread coming out of our eyeballs. Look at this. Wheat flour, wheat flour, wheat, wheat, wheat flour. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> We're definitely not short on bread, I'll say that much. Anyway, I think we are going to have to break that cog and place it. Do you know what? I think in future I'm just going to put quad power junctions in. Even if I don't need them. I think I'd like to get the power there, ideally. So we can put, basically put a platform in there. Annoyingly, the power's going to come out of here now. So if I want to put a lumber mill in, it's going to have to be like that. So we'll set that to be... Oh, it's not the right storage for it, apparently. That can be planks, 
supply. Plank supply. And then we need Jumbi, a small warehouse. Or gear supply. And that'll give it local storage. Reminds me, actually, we did build some more wind turbines over here, didn't we? We're doing for power 2900 over 700 right gears we're, tr we're starting to make our metal block production is completely gone like literally gone that's probably taken all of it that only needs 10 more metal blocks and then we'll start building up metal again we should have a good supply of metal scrap because of this thing Uh, that is probably possibly not got much to do. Put on a lower priority. We got lots of logs. Science, we got 2.1k, so we'll deprioritize a few of these. can free up some workers. We're almost ready for our amazing gravity battery. Okay, that's filled up with water. That's flowing back this way. Let's get that shut off completely. Right, so that's sealed off, so that won't happen again. That does look a little bit contaminated, if I'm honest. Should just leave that on. Uh, Rottinger, thank you for twenty five months. Lee Bennett, thank you for thirty. What do you mean, Beaker? You could build the observatory. We could. We could indeed build the observatory now. How big is that observatory? See, annoyingly, you can't just drop it in there, can you? Because it's big. How many workers does it take? Four. Four workers. Oh my god. I suppose instead of one to one though, you're getting four to ten. So it's still a good value. We can build this, and then we'll shut off, like, four of these, and that'll give us enough workers for that one. Oh, it needs power. It needs power. Of course. That's why I didn't build it there, because it needs power.
What about here on the end of this? Seems like a fun place for observatory. Ideally, you'd put it up here, wouldn't you? But I'm not putting power up there. <laughs> but it would be cool to have it up here. <laughs> but yeah, I think um, if we stick it like... I want to put it here. We'd have to put it one block to the right, which means we need to stack up our platforms. And that's a bit of a high platform. With the added bonus of them not being able to get them. Don't you need power up though, because the batteries. Um, <laughs> you, you you make a very good point, sir. You make a very good point. Do you know what? Let's take yeah okay. Let's do that. Let's let's take our power up there. Connect the batteries and put the observatory on the hill. It looks super cool. I need to build up some more metal blocks, though. We've only got three left. That thing's going to take the rest of them. Actually, why is that not built yet? Okay, I think that's going to get finished. I'm not in a huge rush to build the observatory, but we do need to get power up there. Four thousand horsepower. Fire in the hole! I'll tell you what, this water's coming through very slowly. That's why. Six percent contaminated. You could just say it's just like I don't know. It's like the water in Birmingham, you know, it's just a little bit tainted. <laughs> so what's that taste? I don't know. Can you taste that? Yeah, I can taste that. It's a bit weird, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? There's a lot of wood here. Look at this. I think we should move our lumberjack. He just cleaned that out. That's just enormous. Although I'm not convinced he's going to cut these down. Hang on. Let's put the lumberjack flag here. He's got space though. We'll get rid of him from here. Obviously can't build that yet, but when he can. Right, water's on 3.8k. Quite happy about that. That tank is now almost full. That's filling up slowly. I think I'd like to upgrade some of our water tanks, though. Where's all our pumps? 300 and 300. Let's it takes metal. I think we don't need those little tanks anymore. Or even maybe the little pumps don't need to be there at all. Get rid of them. OK. 
can effectively put a main pump there instead. Get rid of that. Increase our water output. Right, food. Um, how many people have we got? We've got 12 free beds. 23 kids. So there's a lot of kids that are about to grow up, which means more workers. This is taking a long time to flow the water through. These trees are nearly dead. Not quite in range, look, that's annoying. All right, let's seal that off and push all that water this way. It's probably reduced the flow because I've got this open still. But if that's on zero, I could put it on zero. Probably. Let's leave it on 0.5. That should flow through. Yeah. Yeah, it's mixing a bit with that. That's fine. Right. Power. How do we get power over here? We could come off that water wheel. We could also come off that platform there. I'm not mad keen on this thing. Can you even build on that? No. So I'd have to get rid of that, which means bad water's going to flow through. I have to replace it with a levee. Hmm. Trying to work out the easiest way to get power up, though. Because Baz, there's like massive rises here, look. So that, that follows a natural path upwards. But this is like what, five blocks high or something? Like the biggest we can build is through that. to build stuff through here if we're allowed to. Yeah, there is no vertical power shaft, annoyingly. Use CNT to make a better slope. We might have to. Trouble is, I don't think they can reach that. So we might have to build a path back down just so we can put explosive down.
Hmm. One, two. So really want to knock off two blocks out of that. Which means 500... No. 900 signs just to get the double dynamite. Or we do it one at a time. I suppose we want to put one there, one there. And then we'll have to do like a double here. And then a platform there, then go across. Then we're going to basically elevate all the way up to here, which is no mean feat. You like putting power directly over the stairs. What, you prefer to... How? How do you put power over the stairs? Oh, you mean like this? Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't even think of that. So you, you basically would do that, right? That would work. And then we want to keep the elevation as high as possible, so we want to triple here, really. Yeah, I know, I know mods are going to allow it, but I like the vanilla game. Now, that block there is annoying. Because it means they're going to do that. I'm not sure how we're going to get to build that to get a path of it from another direction. Right, let's solve what's going on up here. So having got to here, and bearing in mind we can't elevate and turn, That would do it. You can follow the stairs down even further. What you mean, come to here? Instead of going that way, come this way. I suppose I've got the potential to attach into that. We could even keep that elevated. I'm not sure. Was that meant to be used by something? We'll probably get rid of that. Yeah, the only problem is I can't I have to do that. needed anymore. Oh yeah, it's because it comes... I think we have to turn on that one. And that's the problem. Because we need to go down. If we keep coming down, we end up down here somewhere. Which is annoying.
You can stack power sharing buildings as well to achieve vertical power transfer on a smaller footprint. What what power sharing buildings can stack vertically? Housing doesn't take power. None of the housings take power. Got a problem here because we can't get the power where we need it. Unless we perhaps we build that. Let's let them build that. The trouble is they can't reach this. <laughs> Metal supplies building up. I've not prepared the ground yet. Oh, it's only to get. I need to get over here first. If we get that flattened, we can then lay a load of it here. I think they can reach that. Find you end up having to have an extra set of platforms unless you plan really carefully on building power up to a battery. We'll see how we get on. But yeah, I think this is the issue. Is they can't reach something that's above them. It's like needing scaffolding, isn't it? That's what it is. I wonder if we can, I wonder if we can reach if they allow them to go like that. Oh, you come back. Why don't you stand here and reach that? This body of water is just completely trapped, isn't it? I think I'm going to have to build a platform next to this just so that we can build this. Annoyingly. Can I what? Step those down one more. I mean, we've got the same problem coming up through here. Like, how are they going to even get here to put all this power supply in? Like, they need to be able to get down the side, so... I think we do need to effectively build the staircase down the side of it.
Basically, it's like having a maintenance platform, you know, a little gangway, a little catwalk. Uh, Ak the Bats, thank you for nine months. Mr. Ruttiger, thank you for 25. The Night Owl, thanks for 45, tier two. Uh, how are you? I've uh, unlocked everything in this game. I had a lot of fun. Dude, nice. I've not even unlocked what they call the Iron Teeth. I've not even got to that yet. It's mad to think this is early access. Like, they could just release this as a finished game. So if we can get them onto that platform... The only issue is this thing. You can't build over that, can you? No. So we need to come up like that. That's going to be a problem. Move one of the double stairs on the left and go straight instead. Um, when you say go straight, you mean this, and then go straight. How does that help? Oh, you mean to come up the side of this? If I understood you correctly, I think you mean do that. See, this is the problem. I can't build over there. I'm hoping they can still reach everything. We'll see what happens. Let's try and get them to build this stuff first. And then we'll have to remove this. Get yourself up to level 15. Use two times next to science. Yeah, I think I'm on 13, aren't I? I need to get 15 to get this. Iron teeth. So I need to basically either build some aesthetics, get some more points. Um, that's one way of doing it. We've got the carousel there. Uh, got some fun stuff. Um, different food. Carrots are rubbish. Grilled spatter dock. Maple pastries. So yeah, it's just about aesthetics mostly. Good fresh water supply going on. Squares do they di um, go down to? So you could do an extra one, I think. 
Let's increase the buffer though. Both of your panels are great. I use them all the time for workplace management, storage, well-being, power. I don't see Paul use them much, though. No, no, no. I'm not really getting into the... I'm literally starting to get used to these panels. But how do you use them? Uh, not yet. Nottingham, no. Okay, right. So... What we want to do now is we get rid of that staircase and we stick in a 90 degree bar the same issue here We can probably just build a path back that way. Start doing all this. Hmm. No, we can't really get around it. <clears throat> I was thinking for some of it, we can just come back like that. So they can get in like that way. For this, they can just go there and do it, I think. I should let them build it once that's done. And this they can build from the back. Uh, not yet, Tom, no. Um, I'm trying to think when mine was due to arrive. I think it was March sometime, which is interesting because we're nearly in April. What about you? said March, April. Um, I seem to remember it being March, but I can't remember. Geordie, thank you for 81. Let me have a look in my email. What's it called? Mini FCU. Oh, you'll like this, Tom. So I've just searched my emails for Mini FCU. And uh, they actually reached out to me March last year and said, did I want to do a collaboration with them? <laughs> I completely missed both emails, one in March and one in April. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> 
I'm, I think I might reply back and go, yes? <laughs> and see what they say. <laughs> Sorry, your email went to my spam folder. Lies. That's hilarious. Um, it does say somewhere, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, here we go. Sh uh, shipping schedule. Uh, what's my order number? Hang on, it says if your MSN number is between a thousand and seventeen hundred, then you get it the fourth week of March. What was mine? I'm two thousand two hundred and eighteen, so I will get mine first week of April. Yeah, that's when I'm scheduled to get it. Yeah, <laughs> I might email them just say, um, yeah, do you want to send me one? I'll do a review. <laughs> That's bad. Uh, some, you know, stuff gets into your mailbox and it just, yeah, you get swamped. And then you miss all the good stuff because of all the rubbish you get. Like, literally get emails from China and stuff going, hey, we've got a new gaming chair. You're like, really? Oh, we've got a new power desk, really. And it's not like half the emails in Chinese and you're just thinking Yeah, no offense to chasing you for payment <laughs> Halfway around the world, no thanks um, Right, priority, let's put that above Put all that above Fill me all that They're currently prioritizing dynamite, that's the problem. Oh, it's, it's just, yeah. It's not so much the spam folder, it's just the amount of emails. Have you seen Wing doing... T I did see one, Tom, yeah. I did see one, um... What did I see there? It wasn't an email, but I... I saw another mini FCU competitor. I was like, blimey. How many people are making these things? It might have been on YouTube, actually. Five thousand horsepower, three thousand demand. Metal block seventy-eight was slowly building up. Those little kids need to grow up quickly. What's a mini FCU? Basically like on the Airbus. You know, like the little control bit on an Airbus where you can pull your heading and all that. It's like one of those. The flight control unit. And it's like a small thing. You plug in USB, lets you control the Airbus. Three thousand food. I haven't done much on the food recently. It's kind of worrying me slightly. Cattail. We're just living off bread. Like, my, my beavers just live off bread. I do have a... Yeah, there you go. Merch store. Thank you, Hiller. I might change that store soon. I might move it to a different place instead of spring. And these trees have been planted, interestingly. I thought they were out of range. 3k logs, 5k water. What food are we not making? That list up here. Carrots are rubbish. See, sunflower seeds, I've no idea how good they are. What video is that, Nitel? Wait. Plant crops. Sunflower. Five days. Quite an efficient farmhouse, okay. 
But what do you do with a sunflower seed? A beehive? Boost the growth of nearby crops must be on the ground. Who knew? You found potatoes are the best. We have potatoes growing here. They do take a while though, six days. And the moment they get made, they get instantly grilled and then instantly eaten. Look. Five potatoes. 2.3k bread, 11 grilled potatoes. We just cannot make them quickly enough. It's a Timberborn video, right? <laughs> you can't beat a grilled potato. Proper baked potato with a crusty, a crusty, uh, crunchy skin. Lovely. Yeah, but seriously, what do we do with the sunflowers? I can't find out what the food chain is. The efficient farmhouse will plant them and gather them. But what do we do? Chestnuts, potatoes, carrots. Do we, like, make them into something? What, they just get eaten as seed? Is that it? You don't cook them in any way. Oh, oh right, okay. I mean, that doesn't sound... Well, we could make some anyway, I suppose. Hmm. I don't... So I suppose the one-to-one, -one, aren't they? You get, like, one crop becomes one seed or something. I don't know, two. So after five days, you get two for two sunflower seed per tile. Is that it? Potato, you get one potato, but you can cook one potato into four grilled potatoes. Makes it much more efficient. We want to get these points. We need to spend science on all this stuff, don't we? 12,000 signs for the fountain of joy <laughs> what what we got all this decoration as well look all these will give us more points do you know what I might try boosting the potato bees I've not actually tried doing that 400 signs what's the area of effect is that it Must be built on the ground. Boost the growth of nearby crops. What what does that mean? Does that mean it boosts the output or it boosts the speed? That's not clear. And also, the actual area of effect is not amazing. So that's 7x7. Seven seven. So you need, like, at least two of them. At least. Almost three? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's basically three tiles in every direction, isn't it? So you'd have three like that there. One, two, three, four. You'd have to knock that one out. What's this? You'd have to knock that one out. And then you'd have one, two, three, that way. And one, two, three. And then you could have that. Maybe you're better coming in that way. Is 
Take that one out. I mean, potatoes are on what? A five day cycle? Six days. So it will be interesting to see because we'll be able to measure it. I presume if you put a B thing here, that's that will come down from six days. That's the theory. Wait, what? Where does it mention? Where does it mention in that that the beavers get stung by bees? Where does it tell you that? <laughs> All I'm seeing here is upside. I don't see any downside. Come on, boys, get on with it. Doesn't take long to clear that, does it? Get rid of that path. What are we doing? I got that. So we can't build that one for some reason. Even though they can stand on this staircase and do that. I don't quite get that. Why can they not build this? They can build that one, but not that one. What the heck? You can build that one because of that, presumably. Okay, get rid of that then. Build that instead. Oh, exciting. Fire in the hole. Right, hang on a minute. Why can't they plant those? I suppose ideally I should get rid of all these and then we can just keep planting that way. Hmm. I'll build that. I'll get rid of that. Build that. And in theory, we can get rid of that. One, two, three. Yeah, that's fine. I can't wait to see how much power this battery stores. <laughs> when we get like a full-on drought, we'll be living off this power. We'll be living off... Wind turbines and batteries, because all these wheels will stop. I think we should have carried on building this. So I can't build a footpath through here. Oh, I can. There we go. We'll put them on low workplace priority. We don't. We're not desperate for this. That's a lot of logs. Batteries and potatoes, yeah. I don't know where I'm going to build a potato farm yet, but we'll see what happens when we put these bees in. Here we go. Right, beehive, 400 signs. Let's go. 
They're going to build a thing that's going to sting them. Why are we flooded? What's going on? Is that flooded? Oh, it looks flooded to me. Why is that flooded? I think it's perhaps taken a long time to fill this water up, but it has actually filled up. So maybe... To let that drain off. So if we actually built a dam here, we can actually this can be growable. Because the bad water tiles will reach into about there ish. Sadly, the potatoes cannot be batteries. Flooded. Come on. Drain quicker than that. Stop adding water. <laughs> well, that's flooded it a bit, hasn't it? Trying to balance the water levels is tricky. Knocked out a lot of building. Mistakes were made. Okay, flood averted. It's all that dynamite I placed. They still haven't placed it yet. Blimey. You got the extract. Oh, the dynamite factory's running a bit low. Been using lots of dynamite lately. We're still down to 85. Need to make a big dam at the start where the water starts this map. Well, you can't really. You don't have the resources initially. But were you thinking you'd build a den? I mean, like, build a big one here or something. Just, like, wall this whole thing off. you got two entry points. you got this one, and then this one. I mean, you could just basically, like, wall that off. And control the flow. K 
Come on, I want to see the bees. Go. I want to see the benefit of the bees. It's going to be a tedious process, this. And I have my water pumps on the big dam. So what you're saying? You basically built a big dam over here. And then put water pumps on it. I think it's the highest you can build in terms of water control is the triple flood night, isn't it? So you can only control three blocks high of water. I suppose you could do it like a canal system, like have triple going down to a triple going down to a triple. Maybe you could do that. You can use multiple electric water pumps to pump water up. So, do you mean... You mean this, the mechanical fluid pump. Pumps water or bad water up one side and discharges it on the other. But that... Yeah, I was going to say, that is late game, isn't it? Because that requires 5,000 science and 700 horsepower. Not to mention 50 sparkly blanks. It is definitely mid to late game. Seals of bad water source can be opened or closed at will. Seals of bad water source employs workers who extract bad water directly from the source. So this one allows you to let the water flow but stop it when you don't want it. And this one just allows you to tap into it. But it caps it off. 4,000 science. That is proper nasty. But for something like that one there, it's quite useful. Because if it wasn't for that there, there'd be, this would all be clear water. Apart from it's a bad water time, that would actually be clear water. The observatory will help. We're going to build our grav battery before we build a... Oh, it's built. It's done this. Hang on. Let's get rid of that. We'll build that. Bit by bit. Hey, they built the bees. Woo! That still says six days for one. What's that? Got an information block that I can't click on. Gather by fish and fire most days to grow six. Right, so maybe it's not having an effect yet. Another one though. Those big tanks are full. Though.
That's all of our water's full. 5.3k and we're full. Interesting. Did I make a tank for honey? Wait, what? You get honey as well? <laughs> Where does it say that it produces honey? <laughs> it doesn't say anywhere it produces honey. Serious question though, does it produce honey? Or just boost the crop? Uh, November Papa, thank you for 108 months. Emma Bob, thank you 21. No honey, just bee stings, lovely. No good selected. Great. Billing lacks workers. Yeah, you see, we've got 25 children who need to grow up and start working. That's what we need. Where is it safe to plant crops, I wonder? Hmm. Right, let's get rid of that. Lovely. Trash that. Okay, we're on the home straight now with this. No, one more. Right, the graph battery. Ooh, that's ready. Hey! That is quite a nice drop down there. Thanks, Jeff. Cannot be built at the bottom of the map? No! I think we've hit bedrock. You can't go any further. That's outrageous. Somebody said there was no limit. That's crazy. So anyway, a grav battery is going to sit like that, isn't it? Oh, this... <laughs> Uh-oh. Just when I was getting complacent, they threw in a bad tide event. How dare they? I don't know. I don't know if normal dynamite can go in there anyway. No, literally, um, um, that is the bottom, apparently. That's the absolute rock bottom of the map. Gears, metal blocks. We've got enough stuff for this. Just need to get the power supply done. Yeah, he's fixing it now. Oh, 
I'm hoping they can reach that one. I think he can. Uh, Dolby, thank you for the gift sub to Audi. Welcome back, Audi. Canate, thank you for tier three, sir. 28 months. Really appreciate that, Canate. Thank you. Bad water. Where have I hardly got any bad water? Why have we hardly got any bad water? It's just being consumed. It's just getting turned into extract, isn't it? That's fine. We've got lots of extracts, all we need. Oh, hang on. Can we get the... Oh, this is not looking good. It's kind of hoping to seal that off before the bad water event, but... It's not going to happen. This is a long way away from the district, that's the problem. You're mixing with the water now. Oh, that's true, Beaker, actually. That is actually true. I forgot we were actually doing that. Yeah, that's the downside of mixing it. Blimey. Yeah, we want pure bad water. I was just sending it through there to get more power, but I didn't think about the side effect. Got to be careful they don't seal themselves in. Oh, we're getting there, we're getting there. Look at this. Right. Our connection is blocked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just build it anyway. Super high priority build it. What do you reckon? So the, these have 22,000 horsepower hours of storage. 22,000 off that one and that one. That one, it reckons 30, 38,000. <laughs> uh, just screenshot at night and you can post a link to the screenshot. 38,000. That's insane. Thing is, as well, when you build them, they start fully charged because they're already elevated. <laughs> so you basically just add 38,000 watt uh, horsepower hours to your network. Come on, Jeff. As soon as you've done that, mate. Boom. Should do it. That should connect it. Forty cogs. Forty planks and ten steel. Okay. D 
Don't you need a junction on the power for the other batteries? I thought they just... They, they connect through to each other, don't they? Baz? I think they're all joined. I'm not sure what you mean. That's how these work. So you basically take your thing into one of them and then the adjacent ones just connect power automatically. That's going to add a lot of power storage. What's this global view? District 1. Ah. Yeah, we are going to need another district. <clears throat> I think maybe... A district here might work. It's either that or down here. Trouble is, this is close to all the bad water. We could, in theory, detonate that through all the way down to here and change that for a double height floodgate. We'd have two tiles depth of water through there, and there potentially. Need a lot of dynamite, but that's then a lot of, lot of ground that we can grow things on. We can even build a channel in this and turn all that green. Yeah, I did plant dynamite somewhere, didn't I? Was it here? Ooh. Still missing a few. Definitely go far in the hole, though. <laughs> that was satisfying. <laughs> May as well get rid of that, because that is a bit of a lie. Nobody can get down there now. That's the main issue. So we're going to need a staircase. should give us more buffer. Need to do under the pumps. Yeah. Well, I wasn't sure if... I don't know if they can pump two squares down, can they? Uh, it's not a bit pointless though the the main reason for that is because that water supplies this and this is the critical farming district so that is like an upper dam section for when this runs low we can just send more water down here Uh, don't bail me. Thank you for 94 months. Good morning. Bye, Mech. Thank you for 35. Magic purple button hype. Beavers are doing all right, actually. They're not doing too badly. I'm still perplexed about this. <gasps> Six days. What are they normally? Six. What is this doing for us? Boosts the growth of nearby crops. Feels like a scam at the moment. Injury. They're always getting injured. What's wrong with him? It doesn't say what's wrong with him. It just says injury. It randomly boosts some of the crops every so often within its radius.
I'm guessing it just advances a percentage, but you don't really see it. Right. We'll just have to trust it then. Google says 30% reduced growth time. Well, that would be two days. That would bring six days down to four, which is well worth it, if that's the case. I suppose the net result is we'll end up with more grilled potatoes. Uh, thank you for 75 months, L. Phillips. Okay, well... That's that bit done. How are we getting on up here? <gasps> it's online, I think. It is. The graph batteries are online. Look. You can see them slowly rising. This one's charging. <laughs> that was a big project. Yeah, 38,000. 38,000 horsepower hours in that one graph battery. Then you've got 38 in that one. And there's going to be another two. And then you've got these three doing 22 each. So what's that? Four 38s and three 22s. What does that come out as? It's got to be knocking on 200. 200,000 horsepower hours. Uh, when you just going to put the screenshots? Um... You, well, one of the gaming rooms, I guess. Uh, Night Owl. Probably Sandbox Sim chat, I would suggest. Because that's what this game is, Sandbox Sim. Jim, that one tile's missing. I know, it's just it's frustrating. That, that one tile's frustrating. But we've got enough power for an observatory. And the other thing we could do, possibly, is just detonate all the way down here again and again and again and put a grab battery on this side. If there's no limit to how far you can put stuff down, in theory... One, two, three, one, two, three. In theory, you could just keep detonating that way, right? Yeah, you can do it around there. I mean, there's no reason why you can't. But we'll see if we need to. Because I kind of feel like that's a lot of power storage. <laughs> Industrial levels of power storage. A back scratcher. We've got decoration, well being, campfire, rooftop terrace, medical bed, shower. Contemplation spot. Where is the back scratcher anyway? Teeth grindstone. I reckon you could have a little grindstone there, like. just, <laughs> just pointlessly. Nobody's gonna come up here. Oh, the back scratcher is an eye infection. That's why I don't have it. See, in theory, you could even put a... Probably stick a water wheel in there, couldn't you? Just tap that power as well. I mean, we're already getting it here, but I guess you can get it there as well. Hmm. Anyway, 0 0.9 days before we get hit. There you go. Just boosting our water supply. Do you think they will add uh, repairs and maintenance? Who 
does he come from? Okay, they finally did that. In theory, that'll let us um, stop the bad water coming here, so that'll let us grow stuff there. Maybe trees or whatever. We could have another forestry area, another crop area. Oh yeah, the ones under the pumps, I forgot about that. Assuming they planted them. Stand back, Jeff. Point six days. Well, our grow potato rations seem to be not reaching zero, so kind of feel like we are actually making potatoes a bit more quickly. Where's the storage of grilled potatoes? Bread, bread, you can bread everywhere. Grilled chestnuts. We need some more medical beds. Grow potatoes. Potatoes, there we go. Yeah, I think we should have some med medical beds maybe over here. I don't know if they're better to be where they live or just nearer to where they get injured. I don't know. Or maybe it doesn't matter. case then we'll have a couple of beds like that Imagine putting a teeth grindstone machine right outside somebody's house. So any time of the day, somebody can come and just grind the teeth right outside your living room window. Because that's not annoying. And then right next to the grind noise, we have a contemplation spot. <laughs> See, I think I'd make a good contemplation spot right now. Okay, bad water time. There's quite a large body of water now. Hopefully this time we won't get polluted. Let's just make sure they're fully sealed off. So even if that overflows... So that's currently on 3%, so I think that may still be leaking in. We'll see. Yeah, look, we've run out of grilled potatoes. We've run out of potatoes in general. Look at this, guys. We have four massive grab batteries online. 
Where's the thing that shows power? There we go. Network power supply and demand. 1700 power supply. 400 demand. It doesn't show you storage though, does it? Oh, they're, mm, they're kind of listed here. <laughs> Is everything connected? It seems low. I think it's not windy. Yeah, look, the wind stopped. We're basically draining the batteries because it's not very windy. Oh, they're charging up again now. Okay. 31. Seven days of bad water this time. Woo! Yeah, we'll do, Crow Daddy. Seven days. That's a bit longer. on 1.6 first thing we could do is shut that off and that can stay on a half I will right, we'll shut that out so that's now sealed off that's 0.74 that's okay that's sealed off there um, right, what are you on? One. Right now, it's completely sealed. We're just going to have to let the water in and then let the bad water out through there. Sixty-two thousand is apparently the highest you can get. It is map dependent, like, there's only so high you can build. I should have put a sensor down here. The big lake will get contaminated from north runoff if you never dammed it. I think it did. Right, we're going to seal that off now. That one's sealed. Let the water through there. It's a pity, like... In certain sim games, like Transport Tycoon and stuff, you used to be able to pop up window. Like, I could take this and pop up a little window of it and then click on that and pop up another window of it so I could just sit there and monitor two things at once. And you could do it with vehicles and everything. You could like monitor bu multiple buses. Really handy. Right, so you're gonna get sealed off. Completely. You're gonna get opened. And take all that nasty stuff away. This, oh, stop. This is getting contaminated. We're going to seal that off. And we're going to let all that junk out that way. Which then just leaves this one. Uh, Vex, thank you for 41 months. So that takes longer for it to come that way. Especially if we're draining it quickly this way. It may not even come that way. we can do is seal that off and seal what level is that? 6-4 yeah I'll just seal it off okay so 
I think we're isolated. Unless I've messed up. I think that's isolated now. These wheels are still flowing because that's still flowing, so we'll cut that off now. These wheels should stop. And that's it. We are isolated from the bad water, I think. Unlike last time. <laughs> Interestingly, this got built. That's cool. We can flush that out later. Frosty Jack, thank you for 87. Okay, right. I'm going to save that there. And pause it. And I'm going to go and take a break because it's three o'clock. <laughs> right, I'm going to go and grab some food, guys. Stretch the old legs and I'll be back here in an hour's time. Thank you for hanging out. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Hope to see you later. If you're heading out, enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you soon, but otherwise, in an hour's time, I'll carry on. We'll get through this bad water event, and we're going to build some more potato farms. Probably start thinking about a second district now over here. I think we'd like to get this going. We've got a lot of metal we can get out of here. I think we can build a hole there, put water in it, and keep this green. And then we can basically grow some stuff there, and also import, export some metal. Uh, maybe some wood. Maybe. But I think we're going to have to ramp up our dynamite production if we're going to change the ground. Cool. That is it from me, guys. See you in a bit. Bye for now. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome to part two. If you just joined, welcome. We're going to carry on with Timberborn. <laughs> oh, look, a squirrel scatter. <laughs> Thank you, Vlessia. We are in the start of a seven day drought, well, bad water event, so I've just got to manage this. However, I was thinking about just flattening this off here with some dynamite. Then we can use that better. I was also thinking about upgrading these wind turbines because they're kind of pointless. So we'll just, uh, let me just mark these out here. Looks like I can't take those out without knocking out the wind turbines. That's interesting. Okay. That will need to be destroyed. Luckily, the explosives factory is right there. Uh, Clutch, thank you for 105 months. J10, thank you for 56. Good afternoon, Realisty. Thank you for 19. Crusader, 55. Rusty with 75. Thank you, Velessi, by the way. Yeah, so we'll get rid of this, flatten it out, and then I think what we'll do is we're going to trash these wind turbines. And we'll replace them with the more upgraded ones. So we'll have them along the front. And I might turn this into some kind of storage area. I don't know. I'll have to get... Well, that can stay where it is, I guess. Yeah. A little bit awkward, but never mind. I suppose we could have two levels. We could have a... Um Cut that out there and have a level here and a level up there. I mean, this is where the factories are, so maybe we should have storage here. Have, the, have this as the warehouse section. <clears throat> it should let you detonate until next to the windmills. Probably a UI issue. I'm not really sure. It wouldn't let me lay it. That's the thing. It wouldn't actually let me lay it down. There we go. Right, so how are we doing for water? 0.7, that's healthy. Okay, good for water at the moment. 
have a lot of antidote. <laughs> uh, did you get a look at the two screenshots put in? I actually didn't, Night Owl. I didn't look at all. Um, let's have a quick look. Shunk. Uh, okay, that's slightly crazy. How on earth does the what does the water come out? Or are you pumping it out? How does the water get out? I don't understand. Like what's the maximum number of blocks deep that you can have the water? Because if you pump it with a big pump, uh, it's a maximum of four. So you could pump out four blocks deep. And if you go for the dam approach, then you can only have it uh, triple flood gate, which is three blocks deep, isn't it? So how does it work when you have a giant dam? It flows, flows from left to right at the top. Issue is, right, when you get a bad water event, this, if you, if you've got a dam, then, I don't know, I can't, I can't think how it's working at the moment at all. Night Owl. I don't understand, like, how you're letting the water out in a controlled way, let's put it that way. Also, mechanical fluid pump is a lot of science. Shed loads of it, in fact. If you look at the one from a side view, it flows out of the two side channels with the water wheels on it. Let me try and open it my browser because I can't really see what's going on properly. Nope. I mean, I can see, I can see the step down water wheels. I can see all that going on. I can see how you're generating power, I just can't see how you're drinking the water. Build our observatory here. It does buzz. It does need power. What's the easiest way of getting power to it, though? Drop the power down, I suppose. Done it again.
Let's get all the junctions built. I'm going to have to build something just to change that piece now, which is really annoying. But what, maybe what I should do is not build that. Not build that. Not build that. Well, put the building on stilts. I mean, I could do, but... Either way, I need to change that junction. Well, it's not necessarily easier. Well, it is to build that bit, but I've still got to build all the stilts, which is no different to building these. But the main problem... The main problem is I've got to split that because I didn't put a cross junction on it. I put a 90 degree. And I need to stop doing that. Building lacks workers. That's fine. 15 kids need to grow up quickly. Unable to get required materials. Cattail roots, cattail flower. I need, I need more potatoes. <clears throat> so in terms of like a dam project. I can't pump up yet. So the highest elevated water we have is here. And also when it does turn... Like if I'm storing drinking water, when that turns to bad water, I need to be able to divert it somewhere else. So we don't fill up our dam of lovely water. So I need to be able to channel that in some way. You have two sets of triple floodlights on the main dam and I'm four blocks deep. Right, so you have gone to the maximum. There's a triple floodgate, looks like that, doesn't it? So you can hold three blocks deep of water. So if you were to put that here. Pump filters out bad water. It does, but it's a diminishing return thing, isn't it? Like as, when the water's badly polluted, it'll, it'll take the bad water out, but it'll gradually get harder and harder as it removes the bad water. And it won't ever properly be clean until you flush it. See, I'm thinking... We can... Where's the water coming out? There. So the water flows out of there and it drops into that level. So that level there, if you consider that to be the top, that's one, two, three... And then four. One, two, three, four. If we get rid of this block here, that level there is four, four deep. We can build a four wall around that area and that be a massive dam that we can let water through here when we need it. However, if that water turns bad, I would like to be able to instead just shut some gates off and, and channel it that way and just, I don't know, chuck it out there. Just chuck it that way. Let it, let it flow out off the map. Somehow. That's what I'm thinking.
Yeah, like I'm, I'm looking at yours, but it's so hard to see what's going on. Also, I kind of feel like you've unlocked a lot more tech. Alright. Fire in the hole! Uh, coming up, Bob, thank you for a bullseye 50 months. And Vrome, thanks for a tier 213. I decided to ask an AI about the number 113, and it came up with, in numerology, the number 113 is a sort of the new beginnings, fresh starts, progress, motivation, confidence, fulfillment, leadership, and individuality. What? It's true what they say, Vrome. AI is getting dumber now it's been exposed to humans. We don't have enough people getting scrap metal. Thirteen scrap metal. Part of the problem is just the sheer distance from the base now. Do you know what, Baz? <laughs> I mean, you're joking, right? It needs public transport, but... Maybe maybe you should be able to make bots that you can ride like a horse. <laughs> NSR, thank you for 53 months. I mean, the, the real solution is to make another district. I'm just trying to work out, big picture, where we want that district to be, given that's all bad water, though. I think the district has to be around this area. I think it can... We can make use of this land. We can make use of this land. Maybe we can put housing up here or something. Let me get rid of that. Ray Tiger, thank you for 59 months. Should definitely join these two. got a suspension bridge. We used it once, didn't we? Eight hundred signs! For, I mean, flipping egg. You already know how to make it. It's just, an, it's just a longer version of it, but that requires 20 steel. That's insane. Insane. Might as well just do that. Yeah, Beaker, I agree. Like, if the if you got a, like a canyon that you need to cross, otherwise it's just pointless. You can get access to that. I think I'd like to flatten this, but there's a lot of land to flatten. We would need a lot more production of dynamite, which is already cleaned out. I haven't got any spare workers. That's the problem. And you've got a lot of metal now. Maybe we should just deprioritize the working. 
metal a little bit. These kids keep growing up and filling jobs. I don't know where, though. Right, what's going on there? Okay, right. Let's trash this. It's going to disconnect our battery. I'm not happy about this. Top priority. Bridges allow building underneath, farming underneath. Yeah, that's true. They do allow you to span areas that you can't build on top of. Zero point four on the main area. Okay. Don't tell me you can't make that, you absolute scumbag game. You actually kidding me? You still can't make it. Secrets to have happy workers. More workers equals more productive. Well, they're, they're pretty happy. They're reasonably happy, though. Well, we'll get there. Manage settlement. Beaver child. See, they're all getting a health bonus for being happy. Well-being. Rot sack. Rot sack is nearly grown up now. No, build that first. No. Okay. Someone had a bee sting, did they? We got the med base, Baz, we're fine. I don't get why they pick up materials and take it away and then somebody else brings materials back and puts it there. Why can't they just pick it up and put it there? I uh, can't remember the name of the map. Night Owl. It's one of the default ones in the game. Okay, I guess we're not building that tonight. Or maybe we are. That should put the observatory online, and then we can shut down four of these things and move the workers over. In fact, in theory, what I should do is build two observatories and replace both of those with this. That would be better, wouldn't it? That means we're getting 20 signs. Much more efficient. The only downside is we won't get signs if we run out of power, but with the grav batteries, we should be okay. Right, so if we put... I want to test this. I'm going to do it with one.
I love how the workers go working there even though there's no power. They just sit there, unable to do a thing. There we go. Alright, that's them done. Pause those. All workers who don't have anything to do, apparently. That's interesting. <laughs> what is that meant to be? I can't help clicking it now. Right, well, if they've got nothing to do... We'll... Take that down. Well, that can be very low priority. Workplace. Got nothing else to do, go and get metal. Something's wrong. Yep, I knew something was wrong. I'm not exactly sure how that got broken. I don't remember deleting that, which makes me wonder if it was ever connected. some reason they're not taking this down it's too far away apparently it's still too far away they literally need to be able to climb up to it to get rid of it right 1.2 days left Okay, observatory is online, which means we can get rid of these four. Why are they pointing in different directions? <laughs> That's slightly triggering. <laughs> Do they move? Maybe they move. So, can we do it again? Just keep doing it. Uh, Kebob, thank you, 52. Cat Dad, thank you for 41. Well, they're actually going that way. That's interesting. That is a shortcut for them. dynamite do we have? 
I think that's the wrong way around. Scumbag game. It could have oriented it for me, but it didn't. No, that's the wrong one. Haulers, uh, quite a few. We've got a hauling post there, hauling post there. Uh, we've got another hauling post over there. We've got a few kicking around. So you can't just keep doing this. So we could just have another grab battery here. Or at least make space for one. Basically, I reckon with that much battery storage, the only time we might struggle is when it completely runs dry of water and we have no... The, the only generation is wind at that point. We have no water wheels. And our backup, of course, would be these. And then we just shut down non-essential stuff. And I think the only reason we don't have more bread stored is because we've run out of space. <laughs> we just... We just have insane amounts of bread. Actually, maybe I should build one of those gigantic storage things for bread. Thousand signs, forty cogs. We cannot afford that. Eighty planks. We can afford that. Twenty logs. So just the uh, the cogs. It doesn't do bread, really. Oh, is it like a? Oh, it's a large warehouse stores bread, isn't it? Which you already have. Okay. We can have another bread warehouse like that. With ladders going up to it. Yeah, it's for metal and stuff, isn't it? I tell you what I was going to do. I was going to put... There's a lot of trees over here. And I'm not convinced that these guys are actually... Cracking through it all. And there's no immediate log storage, so I think they're wasting time. So we could put one here. And then maybe put some more lumberjacks in. Because the it's stupid. They have to go all around here. Then come all the way back out again. It's just dumb. This needs to change. He's replanting that stuff. But not very well. Why has he not done that? Replant dead trees not marked for cutting. I think we could probably do like three or four lumberjacks here. There's so much oak that's just matured. So I reckon we build. We get rid of these. I think that's enough for a big storage. And then. The lumberjacks there instead. You don't need a moat, you just use dynamite to go down a few squares. I'm not building a moat, Beaker. Nice thing about the underground storage is it frees up space but you can't store food. Hmm. Oh, 
but tides ended. Gotta let that flush out. Do you mean this pool? Oh, well, that, that already goes down a few squares. That's the thing. It's actually quite deep, that beaker. See, it's already been dynamited down. It was the most I could dynamite it, given... It was the most I could dynamite it, given the dynamite that we had at the time. Now, in theory, we could actually dynamite that even further. But, frankly, there's just no point. Right, storage. Big boy. Thousand science. Please store logs. Supply point. And then we shall go for one, two, three, four. I think we'll need at l probably four to manage that. We may even need another forester, I don't know. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, Andre, thank you, 29 months. Okay, that's nearly cleared out. Now, with all the logs we're going to get from here, we could perhaps go for our little dam project. I reckon that's three squares wide all the way through to here. So that's three wide. If we could dam that off there and then have the equivalent there so we can send that water that way if it's fresh or that way if it's bad. And then we effectively channel three block along there. Where do you want the dam to run? And then we'd have to effectively get it down here somewhere to go and then channel it there and chuck it out that way. That's one. Something along those lines. But you can also, if you're going to channel the water that way as well, you can also power wheel along the... Let's 
trying to flush that is really tricky. What the bad water stream overflow? Do you mean this one? It's pincered there, isn't it? It's like... It's three wide here. And three wide here. And that's three wide all the way through. So can we take that and chuck it into there and it not overflow? I don't know. I don't know is the answer. Have you considered damming up the area by the two slot water source? Um, the two slot water source. Do you mean. Actually, I don't know what you mean. This is the one I'm looking at. Which one are you thinking? No, that's what I'm thinking about. That's what I'm thinking about, but when it turns into bad water, I don't want it to come into my dam. So I'm thinking about effectively having a switch here. Yeah, where I can send it this way for fresh and send it that way for bad. But equally, if this is going to be a big dam, I'm then thinking that's a fresh water dam, but you then allow it to overflow and leave and then put power wheels on that. So you basically allow the water to flow somewhere and drive the power wheels at the same time when you stop sending the fresh water into the dam and you send it the other way it will also power the power wheels so unless you have a drought you can still move the power wheels was my thinking but then the problem becomes if we chuck all that water into here can it cope and i think it can because it's like the water's doing that already it's mixing with this and you can see it picks up speed when it mixes with that one. If we can combine the power of that and that together, we would have that kind of speed. We don't have to send it like this. We could perhaps just send it through there. Anyway, the other issue is this goes deep here, which is a bit annoying. Because I think that's actually too deep. So effectively, we'd have a floodgate here. Across there like that. Which would be our main entry switch like this. And then we can have one block, two block. Hang on. Which is the floor for this thing? Yeah, you see, this level is the floor. That's the only problem. That is effectively useless. We have excavated it there by a block. We could excavate through there. That's a lot of dynamite. Hey, Callum. If we did that, we'd have... A large water pump at this level can drill down one, two, three. I think we're still only getting three squares, aren't we? Until we can pump water to a higher level, we can't really do any better.
Uh, how high do you think of a 74 months? Although not in consecutive audio, sometimes you've got to save money, sadly. <laughs> I'm just done. Thank you, Heidi. Thanks for the support. You can make mine, one wide channel towards the deep pool, then you've already been connected and expanded in the future. Why one wide when we've got three? Yeah, we've almost got rid of the bad water, but not completely. That's the issue. We can send some clean water into here now. I never did put a thing on this side. Yeah, the mechanical pump is a lot of science. I'm trying to do it without the mechanical pump. So this is 2% contaminated, but this is all clogged up here. 68%. It's not flushing through. It's a bit annoying. Really need to send some water through here. I think we'll just have to mix it slowly. Hopefully, the sheer volume of water flowing through there, mixing with this bit. We'll be okay. Let's open this soon. Rip. All the cattail died because I allowed it to dry. That's annoying. Can a bad water pump clean that up faster? Um... 
I, I don't know. I think we should probably shut that off. Force it to pull this through. Good day. Since I loved your Derail Valley videos, I bought the game because of you and love Vic BTW. I was wondering if you were gonna try Railroader? I think you'd like it. Uh, VMBI, thank you very much for your kind donation, sir. Railroader is... Um, a game that I... have played... Played about 20 hours of Railroader, if I remember. I'm fairly sure I've streamed it. I think we did play it. I think it's me and Pups and Somi? We definitely played it. I remember the multiplayer stuff. It's quite grindy. Yeah, I did stream it. It's quite grindy. Um, definitely lends itself to multiplayer because there's just too much to do single. Um, but yeah, I'll go back to it. It's a fun game. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing it develop. Yeah, I thought I streamed it. But thank you for your donation, VMBI. And Yov Hato, thank you for 82 months. Just trying to keep my eye on this situation here. It's about to, I've got a feeling it's about to flood. Alright, let's knock that to 0.5. Yeah, there you go, it's flooding. Just getting rid of this is really annoying. I think we're going to have to just change the design of this. I think we're going to need a barrier here and I can just shut it off when it's bad water because I don't want to let bad water into this. It's really hard to get rid of. I think that's the solution. I uh, couldn't find it on YouTube. Yes, I didn't I didn't play it on YouTube. It's because it is a bit grindy, but I've definitely played it on the... Uh, if you go to my Squirrel Plus channel, you'll find the streams of it. For sure. Okay, I think this is backing up now. Be careful, I'm gonna flood this if I'm not careful. In fact, I think it is flooding. quite high. <laughs> I think you have a one block floodgate in the bad water area that's closed when it should be open. Oh, crikey. Um, it could be that you're talking about over here. I mean this. to sort this water out. I think that's supposed to be on 0 0.5 just so it overflows. This bit here, I think you're right, that should be on zero. I think you're right, that's why it's not flushing. The other thing I could do is actually just make this wider so it flows through a bit quicker. But yeah, I think we're going to have to do some manipulation of the of the water table between the next cycle. That is flowing quite rapidly back into here now. 
You kidding me? You actually kidding me? Bad water's come in again. Even though that's maxed out. Dang it. No. Still contaminated. <laughs> if you let the water through too quickly down here, it just over overruns this area completely. I think we need a better dam though. I can't have this happening. Dang it, that's annoying. That's gonna come through here. I think the way to handle that is just have to let that out now. Uh, it's not tall enough room. Hmm. Yeah, we need better control of the water. That's annoying. 25%. I wouldn't mind. It's it's overflowed the natural barrier and then gone over my full barrier. <laughs> so it's really properly flooded. Okay, I've got to wait for it to clear and then we'll sort that out. Yeah, you make like one small change and then nothing happens immediately because it's water and then after a few minutes it's slowly building up a problem but you don't realize like shutting that off now means more water goes that way which means more goes through there and through here as well which may be okay but it may not be Still can't draw that through. Okay, right. Let's have a think. The only thing we can do with this water table is consider that to be the start point rather than this. And that gives us an extra block, doesn't it? So if we kind of start with this approach. Basically do that. Because now we can effectively start at that level, I think. Which means we've then got one, two, three before we hit this base bit. So it just depends how much we want to block off. Once we put that block in there, mo all that water's got to go that way. The water level's too high where, Beaker? The 
sense. It seems okay. Oh, this, yeah. I'm not worried about that. I'm thinking like that's the dam though, like that. I think you may need something to flick against the way bottom of the map. I will down here, yes. This bit. I was waiting for the I was waiting for enough water to be here to push this out of the way. Because otherwise, if I'd have let that go too early, this would have come back that way. But yeah, you're right. It did need to be changed. Look at that. Dirty, filthy water. 25%. That is horrendous. And we have no way of flooding that. I've got to just drain it off now. The only way to fix that is to cut this off and then drain that out completely. Because that's just completely contaminated. Man, that's annoying. Okay, well. Yeah, but it's not drinkable. I mean, it, like, it's not killing everything off, but I want to flush it out. It's annoying me. So we've got that project. We need to secure this a bit better. So I think we need to effectively double dam this. Trying to think of the best way of doing it. Better start there, I think. I'm glad I left that, though. I love how they can pull all these resources out of the bad water without going in. <laughs> Come on, put the dynamite. Go do that one first and then we can do this one. Yeah, maybe they got like big fishing poles or something.
so many little projects on the go. Right. to get down there. Can you only build a single block levee? You can't build anything higher. Do we need through the two? that one. Yeah, I don't know which ones they are, though, Beaker. So theory could cap that. You can actually cap that with a... Um a bad water thing and just extract bad water from it and then it wouldn't pollute anything down here and the only time you get bad water down here then is when we get a bad water event okay this appears to flush through finally to replace that. Up north, the one that leads into your main base that you close when it's bad tide. I mean this one. I kept that closed deliberately simply because it was full of bad water and I didn't want it in here. Six, right. right we built that. We'll then have that. I think the scaffold scaffolding to do this is going to be hilarious. <laughs> I've got to somehow get them up there to do this.
can walk along the top. They don't, though, unless they put a path on there, do they? Stupid like that. Actually, thinking about this, I don't think we actually want that design. I think what we want to do... Has this got any pressure coming on it? If I put flat ground in front of it... If you, was to, if you was to block that off, what happens? Does it, like, squirt out the top? <laughs> or does it not flow at all? How does it work? Hundred and twenty dynamite. I need a lot more dynamite than that. It would flow over. Wait, you say has anybody tried it? Has anybody actually tried to block it off and see what happens? You have done right so what happens it just comes out the top so that that means it does have pressure which means if i build a flat bit next to it it'll push it along because at the moment it looks like it's relying on gravity to drop it what's that doing ah no you see that's fine there you go that proves the point so it is pushing it that way that's fine okay good to know Yeah, they're actually turned the attention to that, which means they've probably built this. Come on, get it done. Almost blocked it. Yes, yeah, so there is a... That will allow you to open and close it when you want to. But that one... 4,000 signs. Man, you've got 6,000 now. Seals a bad water source, employs workers who extract bad water directly from the source. Ground only must be built on the ground. So if I build that, the workers can come and get bad water from it, basically. I think that'll have to be part of this district. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where's the water going? Why does it feel like we're losing water now? 0 0.6. 0 0.5. 0 0.45. This has dried out, weirdly. That's now emptied away. He's got nothing to do in range. Is I'm allowing water through here. That's not closed. Water can get through here. Water can get through here. And water can get through here. What do you mean, bingo? It looks okay to me. 
This is because he's on 1.5. You can't say that one. What you're looking at is not what I'm looking at. It's a pity you can't label things. <laughs> There's clearly not, not enough water getting through here. Let's put it that way. So that's not coming through at all. This feels like this is quite low. It may be because of this. Surely that has to flow this way. Like it's literally got nowhere else to go. Right, that's slowly going up. I wish it went up in point two fives. Okay, that's flowing. Just need to be careful now because that has now changed the dynamics of the water through here. This on 0 0.5, that's a question. This could, this could flood shortly. Now it's settled down a bit. This could flood. Okay, that's now flowing through there. You can let that down. Yeah, this has let dirty water back in again, annoyingly. It's tricky. Don't have enough control over it yet. Right, this is now completely sealed off, so we can completely trash this. That is useless. This is also done, so we can get rid of that. And uh, stuff music, thank you for a year. Happy anniversary. We can get rid of these. So hopefully that won't happen again. Mr. Wackaday. Hey. <laughs> Seven bits. 128 months, dude. Woo. <laughs> Thank you very much, Wackaday. Thank you for 128 months of support, sir. That is insane. Insane, I tell you. 
Next stop, 256. <laughs> Actually, I'll accept 192 as your next number. And then 256. Stranded. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where is he? I don't even see him. Is he, like, inside a block or something? No, thank you for support. I couldn't do it without you guys. Thank you, Wackaday. I don't know where this guy is. He's hungry and thirsty, and I think he's buried somewhere. I just can't see him. Oh, there he is. Oh, my God. Dude. How am I supposed to get him out of that? Wait. Um, can do. Maybe. Try and get him out that way. It's going to be try quite difficult putting this dam online, isn't it? Yeah, let's see if they rescue him. No, you need to stop building that, Jeff, and actually rescue your buddy. That's what you need to do. You can't be doing what you're doing. Whoa, 1,400 logs in here already. What? That's insane. Like, how? <laughs> Plant, trees, oak. I think you can get all those. He's just stuck over there, isn't he? Is the water tank empty? Which water tank? This one? No. Oh, guys, will you stop building that when your mate needs rescuing? Do that. He's gonna die. There's no sense of urgency. Can't delete the block. It won't let me delete it. Oh, disabled. I have no control over that block. I think that's actually properly protected now. That's one job done.
I'm going to widen this so we can at least get a, f a better flow through there when we need it. That will make it three wide. Um, stranded, starving, and dehydrated. Highest priority. Logs are here and they can't finish building this. Ridiculous. I don't understand why they're still working on this stuff when this is the highest priority. I think he's going to die. And he's not going to die because of my fault. He's going to die because his own family, his own friends, his parents, his children, nobody's coming running to save him. Ridiculous. Like he's one block away from survival. You hand in the Tanzingo. Tanzingo, 59 years old. Veteran. Veteran beaver. Well, he did paint himself into a corner, but, you know, let's not talk about that. <laughs> so what do we need to build on top of this? A mine. 4,000 signs. 250 logs, 350 gears, 200 sparkly planks. Yikes, that's all of our sparkly plank production. I think I saw that. Treated planks, there we go. I need more storage for treated planks. I think we're going to need more of them. What's that like? Crackers. If you change that from one thing to another, does it throw everything away or just move it? Like if you cancel that bar, if you change that, what does it do with the planks that are here? Do they just move them away or will it delete everything? It will move, okay. Planks. What I'm thinking is, we have a big storage for planks here. All these big boys. So you're going to store normal planks. And then we make that into treated blanks. That will effectively move all them into here. And then we'll double our space. Has he been rescued yet? Hey! He's alive. Well done.
Hashtag saved. <laughs> right, we need some triples down here. Actually, yeah, what matter about them? You passed away? Are you kidding me? Don't tell me you died. Uh, what was his name? No, he didn't. He's not on the list. He didn't die. He must have been rescued. I don't see his name in the list. I think he made it. I think we might be due an event soon. Have you set the cutting over the oak? Looks suspiciously uncut. Yeah, I, I'm pretty certain I have. Not done it. <laughs> I definitely did not do it. <laughs> Can they even reach this though? Meh. Might as well all over. Go and fill your boots. I don't know how far they can get, but these guys can get to there-ish. Could potentially throw another lumberjack in there. Yeah, I've got maple on the go. That's how we've got treated planks. Got a little syrupy stuff going on here. Little tapper shack, pine resin. Got plenty of pine resin. Right, we should probably um, add another one on top. If only you could put the door in a different place, imagine that. Yeah, and there's that one, and there's another one somewhere. Oh, that's chestnuts. Um, maple? I don't know if we're doing maple. What do we need the maple syrup for? Pancakes? <laughs> maple is for maple danishes and bot stuff. Right. Okay, well, maybe I think our next forest might be best done as that then. Let me make sure that forest is keeping up with this. Twenty one kids. 
13 available beds. I think we had a bit of a death wave. We've lost some workers. Annoyingly. I wish those little water sensors, um, I wish there's a way of making like a display toggle where it would just show you the number over the, so you don't have to keep going like, what's that one on? What's that one on? What's that one on? You know what I mean? Like a little label next to it that you could just turn on and off. LCD's not invented. So my plan is to detonate all this area here, but we need to make sure we can channel the water. question is, where will the dam come up to? I think probably the good boundary. You get the channel done first. What do you mean the channel? What do you mean? Do you mean this thing? I mean, this is already sealed off now. This bit here and this bit here. I mean, that? Well, I was thinking, like... The, the wall for this side of the dam effectively allows us to flick to be the other side of bad water, so you can send the bad water that way. I want to try and get it into here, if possible. I pour it into that. Ah, but this is the thing, Beaker, is I'm thinking, rather than dig, I'm thinking we can use the damn wall. And we can channel it over here somewhere. really clever we can use this space here the power generators longer send the bad water in that way or overflow from the dam that way this is why i'm starting to prepare the ground here Do 
I really have to demolish those resources? You're gonna put blocks all on the top route to keep it top level towards the bad water. My plan, roughly, is to have a gate here and a gate here. Yeah? So like an L shape like that. And there'll be floodgates there and floodgates there. And one of them will be closed, one of them will be open. So if this one's open, the water will come into the dam. If that one's open, the bad water will go along this channel. But the channel will be formed of the wall of the rock and the other side of the dam wall. So it'll effectively flow along here. The dam wall will edge, finish about there. Okay, and we can let water out along that channel or the bad water comes around the dam along that channel. But whatever happens, that channel's got water flowing through it. Either bad or good. And then that powers the wheels. And then whatever's left drops into here. Uh-oh, now I've got another problem. <laughs> We've got a drought and that's not good. Right, three days until we get a drought. So now we're going to need all the water we can get. So let me pause it and think about it. Okay, what can we do in three days? To store as much water as possible. This is a critical area here. Because this can supply water to the main area if need be. This is also critical. We now have all of this, which can potentially backflow into that. We have 128 dynamite. It does depend how long the drought will last, though. We have 5,000 water stored. Not 0.6. I need to try and fill it up as well. Hmm. This is going to be interesting. Okay, I would suggest that they need to be high priority bills. Because that's more water storage. That can also potentially be. Van, thank you for 25 months. Kaboom! <laughs> Make sure our water pumps are the right priority. A drought also means a drop in power. So this is properly going to test the grav batteries. Now going to be powered by grav batteries and wind power because none of these are going to flow. We should probably build more little hamster wheels, I guess.
How much walls have we got? 5.2k. Uh. Oh, they do move. <laughs> That's cool. Let's make the ground on the original ground battery three times deeper. Uh, this one. I don't know how far it'll actually go down, to be honest. But it seems to allow us to go more, so yeah, let's do it. Yep, let's get more power out of it, why not? What do you mean, Captain Flint? I don't think they're going to plant this dynamite in time. That's what I was going to do. Now I've built that other storage. Where is it? That one. That's got planks in it. So if I make that one treated planks, I should move that stock into here, and that becomes more storage for treated planks. So at night time, we only have 400 horsepower drain. Which is interesting. I'm wondering what takes 400 horsepower when it's not been manned by a beaver. Carousel. Carousel takes 400. Interesting. How do they get on and off this thing? Nobody's there to stop it. <laughs> That's going to have to get turned off in the drought. No carousel in a drought, I'm afraid. Surplus power. No fun during droughts. to make that stuff. I'm wondering whether to build more homes or not. I think after the drought's over, we'll build homes. I don't want to have a food crisis in a drought.
There you go. Treated planks. Cool. I need to time this so that nobody dies. There we go. Bought us a bit more water. <laughs> when I detonated that, they suddenly went, uh, we don't know how to get home now. Oh my god. Can somebody please build this before the end of the night? 18 hour days, 20 hour days, let's go. Oh, they're at rest. Scumbags. You know, one night out won't kill him. There you go. I think Yemoz is going to save them. He's starving, but he's, he's like musketeer approach. All for one. One for all. Go on, you can do it, dude. Yeah. But now they're asleep. Well done, mate. Should I quietly set off some dynamite? <laughs> Oh, he's made it. He's out of there. He woke up. Right, where's the old battery explosives? Dig that as far as possible. Okay. One day till drought. Don't know how long it's going to last. Uh, Keller Krish, thank you for 41 months. Okay, yeah, we need to start filling this up now. That's closed off. Let's start sealing this back a bit. If we knock that off there. Seal that off there. That's going to hold that water back. It's a big area, so it should be able to fill up through a day. We then seal that off. So it chucks maximum water into here. And this is where we need to be careful. This is timing now. No, yeah, the bad water stops. When it's a drought, everything stops. Bad water, good water, it all stops. It's just down to water conservation at that point. So yeah, this this will stop. These wheels will stop turning. All these wheels through here. I really need to get rid of that. We don't need this now. If that was gone, it would it would level this area out a lot quicker. Mm. 
There's a risk that this is going to rise up too quickly and then flood back up there. We'll see how it goes. What we do know is that that is now trapped and only flowing through here. And that is only flowing down here. So it's just a matter of what we want to let through then. That's down at the moment. So that's getting quite high. <laughs> Might have to let some more through there if it gets too much. Right, how many dynamites have you got for me? They've gone up from 22,000 to 24,000. And I can't build any more. This one's on 20,000. Now it's on 24. And I can't build any more. Right, okay. So they've now maxed out at 24. No point nine four. Just gonna flood Captain. We just release enough through here so it doesn't flood that. The area next to your battery storage could be flooded and store water. Is it really? Is it slow it down, Beaker? Right now, I've got a healthy 0 0.7 through here. Got a 0 0.9 on the main area. So the problem is, like, when this drains down, we'll never get access to that. <laughs> Unless we, like, take that level all the way through here. Uh-oh. Are they flooding? Let's open it all. Okay, I appear to have overcooked it. <laughs> what level is this on? Eight. Yeah, I've slightly overdone it. Let's <laughs> drop some water out quickly.
No, the bees are the bees are flooded. Yeah, it's a bit more than spare capacity though, isn't it? It's like flooded crops. Seal it up. Let's seal it all up. What are we looking at here? 0.6 on the outside. 0.5 on the inside. Oh, 0.6, 1. 1.8. Okay, sealed off. Doesn't matter. You can keep flowing until you've got nothing left. There we go. So now, now is actually the perfect time to make any changes that you want to make, isn't it? Eight days. Eight days of no water coming out of here. We can make all of our changes, potentially. Worth thinking about. Yeah, the flooding's going to go in a second. It'll be fine. That's only on 0 0.7, apparently, which is a lie. So there's a little bit of water damage, accidents happen, but you know, we're all good. And we'll just shut that off now. There you go. Okay, sell that off. Critical error is at 0.95. Right, let's see how we get on. Now, the question is, with our power demand, 478 power supply, 3,000 demand. Right, so straight away... Fun police are here. We're turning stuff off. Hamster wheels need to go on. We're going to have to stop making non-essentials, which means probably... Lumber mill. Gear workshop. Smelter takes power. Do we need metal? No, we don't need metal. Turn off the smelters. Leave the wood workshop. Smelter off. Leave the explosive factory on. It's a real shame we can't... I don't have a floodgate for this. Because I could actually... We can actually carry on getting this bad water out of here. But it's going to flow away and I didn't actually put a way of stopping it. Which I should have done. Hang on, we can still do something. If we can get them up there, we'll keep that bad water intact before it all disappears. Alright, power demand, 500. We've got no wind at the moment, though. That 
power's not good. They don't take power. What other factories can we turn off that take power? It's only this side has got power, that's the thing. It's slowly going down. You could do with the wind picking up, really. My god, they hardly got any of this done. I can probably turn off some of these water pumps here. Just so we don't drain this too quickly. So that's the perfect time to run over and build a cap on this thing, isn't it? Let's get some construction plans going. See, we don't need to send water that way. We did it because we needed to, but the main dam needs to sit here. Uh, the bad side won't come for a while. We've got seven days of drought to deal with. The water on that side is on 0 0.49. There's still quite a bit of water there. Ciao, Jeff. It's like a little swimming pool. <laughs> I'm guessing they can't build this. Yeah, okay. So we're going to have to provide a way up though. Which means cutting down some trees.
This one needs to be marked for explosive as well. A bit trickier. <laughs> Do you provide earplugs for your workers? Nope. How far can they walk from the footpath to the... Like, they can clearly walk one, two, three, four squares. What about five? Do five. And do six. I don't know how far they'll walk along here before they'll say, I don't know how to get there. Also, I suppose if I'd have just put a ladder here, I could probably maybe have figured out that they can walk through here. No, oh, you see, that's too far as well. So maybe that has to be a footpath. I think we need to manipulate this land. I'm on 20 hours. To be honest, I forgot to bring that back down. <laughs> I did ramp it up while they tried to rescue somebody, but I forgot to knock it back down again. Right, 71 explosive. The problem here is that we're going to run out of this bad water. In fact, we have run out of bad water. Dang it. Still got stuff in storage. But we don't have any bad water. Oh man. I just realized something. <sighs> Turn that off. We've turned all of our bad water into extract and now we don't have any bad water, so we can't make any explosives. So I might as well just turn these off. You gotta be careful with that. This machine here will turn all the bad water into extract. I know we have 79, but it's not enough. Oh, and there's no way you can tell it to limit itself. See, when there's a drought on, there's no way we can get bad water from anywhere. There's like, there's some left here. And there's some over here, like collected in a pool, but there's nothing else. In theory, we could stick a bad water pump on that, couldn't we? It would have to be maximum depth of two, though. Otherwise, it would need power. I was just wondering if there's a way we could stick it up here or something. Bit of a temporary measure. How big are they? It's a two by two platform, but it's doable. It might get us through this bad spell.
Get that water pump. And then we can at least pump that. And it doesn't require power. To be honest, I think we're going to have to bring some power over here and have a proper powered bad water pump right there once this is full again. Because we've got power there, we can just bring it over here. We've got wind now. Yep, we've got a bit of wind, which means we are surplus on power again, which means the batteries are fully charged again. Okay, water's good, food is good, what's the water level like? 1.6, that's fine. Okay, right. Detonation time, assuming it's clear. Come on mate, get out of there. That's my thinking. And then we basically have... Let's make sure they can get there. We can then send the bad water that way, or the good water this way. That was fully up. They're not cleared this year. Flipping egg. To get rid of that. Come on, let's go. you have any water that you can send down to the bad water to dilute it and increase the amount you have? Uh, that won't increase the amount of bad water though, will it? It'll just dilute it and make it harder to extract. At the moment, I want to pump this away. Um, when, when the water flows again, we need to sort this out so that we've got a bad water pump area. 
So maybe we need to like block this off a bit. Jeez, those wind turbines are actually pretty good combined with the batteries. I don't even think we need hamster wheels on, to be honest. I think we can just turn them all off. I'm going to turn them all off and free up the workers and see what happens. Literally turn off all the hamster wheels and we're just going to run on wind turbines and batteries and see what happens. And that frees up workers, so we've still got four, four workers not doing anything, but two of them are going to go into this pump as soon as it's ready. I have a lot of factories shut down, yeah, because there's no point them running right now. We could start to bring some lumber mill online, but we're not desperate for planks. Do you know what? Let's have the carousel. You've convinced me, Chris. Right, network power supply zero, which means the wind has ground to a halt. So now we're draining 1370. 400 of that is the carousel. Well, I, I think we can afford it. I want to see what happens. It's a genuine experiment of our power capabilities. Now, in between the wind coming and going, what happens with the batteries? Well, one step at a time, dude. I need to get this finished before the drought ends, otherwise... All hell's gonna break loose over here. Pin Martins, thank you very much for gifting five subs to the chat. Welcome, guys. Thank you, Pin Martins. If you got a sub, please give me a thank you. And Adobe, thanks for gifting a sub to Brewhits. 83 months, Brewhits. URL, thank you for 110. NGN, I don't th I think I said thank you for 78 months, by the way. And Tamashanta with 97. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Mandy K with 28. And Nitro with 45. I'm a little bit behind, aren't I? <laughs> Sorry about that. Professional streamer here. Ooh, that's some more stuff to blow up. Okay, right. So what we're doing here is clearing the ground. Need to be careful with the dynamite. I don't need to do that yet. We're getting bad water out. Yes. We have bad water online. Extract, bad water, fly point. Might as well pause these two because they can't actually do anything. Good, which means we could start to make explosives again. We'll turn two of them back on. Um, these batteries have hardly gone down. 
We have 5k of logs. I think we're going to have to start cutting stuff. Let's just turn it all on and see what happens. We'll leave the extract off. I'll have two explosive factories running. Uh, we could put the smelters back on. Water level still on 0 0.5 over here. Right, what's the power doing? 1100 supply, 3000. Mind you, the wind turbines are not really moving. So, okay. The batteries are being used finally. Come on. You need to speed this up over here. Three and a half days left and then that water's going to come out. <laughs> speed up! Is that a slope? Like a natural staircase. I put that there and do that. Might should get that built quicker. We need a footpath through there as well. Uh, Trucker Paul, thank you for 33 months. Cranky Fire, thank you for 13. Yeah, I don't think they're going to get this built in time. Um, because I need to get this up and then remove some of this stuff so the water can flow properly again. And they're being very slow about it. This is the main thing, actually. Get rid of that now. Get this built and that built. Just so we can guide the water back down where it normally goes. have a little bit of bad water going on. It's good. No workers available, are you kidding me?
Dude, we're going to get more beavers, but I'm not. I'm not building ho homes in the middle of a drought. I don't want more mounds. Do you reckon he'll survive? Fire in the hole! Oosh. Okay. This is looking a little better. This is looking a little better. Now the water would come through there and it would actually flow that way. I suppose ideally we'd get rid of that and then that it might should be easier at this stage to put the footpath in here So I don't know whether to channel that out or just leave it when it's bad water. Do you think the water would flow at this level? Given that it actually it will want it, because what it will do is it will come in, it will fill that up. It just means we'll end up with a chunk of bad water. What we can do is fill that up. I think maybe I should have done that. So it runs flat to here, then drops. Is that way, when I lower that gate, like that, the bad water goes that way, it runs along the surface. It means I can just build the dam wall along there. Any minute now, that water's going to start coming out again. So I'm thinking effectively the bad water would be like that channeled off in that direction. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> that was close. <laughs> he was like two squares away from that. So right now when the water comes it should just flow through here and everything carries on as before. That's the theory. So put a floodgate here. I want to get the dirty water to there and then drop it through there.
But this needs to be the same level as that, really. I think I'm going to need a lot of um, explosives. <laughs> I need a lot of dynamite. All this is going to have to go. As soon as that's done, we can seal it off. I think I might have to put them on long days. <laughs> They're not going to be happy, but we need to get this done the last day. Interesting thing about this drought run is that water level not needed to top that up with water at all. This has dried out, though. This area. I think it's because they've carried on pumping. I think maybe we need to make that level all the way through there. Because this, this is going to die, like, that's not sustainable. I need to lower that level through the... That's going to require a lot of dynamite. It's not going to make any difference though, dude, because it's not going to climb up this rem. It's too low. It's literally 0.19. Might as well let it in there. Uh, Wandless Wizard, thank you for 38 months. DTM, thanks for 26. They finish that off, we can finish this, and then we're good. But I don't think they're going to get it done in time. Let's drop that down. Finish it off. All right, that's maxed out. That's mind. now built that footpath can go in
I think they have just... Look at that. 0.3 days to spare, and they have just finished it. Right, we'll knock the hours back down to normal. 17 hours. Meanwhile, with almost all the factory running, we still have power. That's really interesting. That's nobody on hamster wheels, almost all the factory running, and we're running on turbine power and battery. And we've more or less survived. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and with the carousel. <laughs> The all-important carousel. Cycle 15 begins. And back comes the water. Okay, that worked reasonably well. Okay, right. Now I've got to watch the water levels. Find this game addictive yet chill. Yeah. Okay, the bad water's flowing, which means we can turn those pumps back on. So we do have the potential to lock this off as bad water storage as well. I don't know how high it gets to. going up rapidly. I never get addicted to games, you know that. Camera's died. It must be warm in here. Apparently it's quite warm in here. <laughs> Let me turn it off. Oh, Stupid thing. Let me uh, cool the room down a little bit. I didn't think it was that warm in here, but apparently it is. It's 
going to take a while to go through there. We'll put that on 0 0.5 so it overspills. Yeah, we are going to have to detonate all through here. If we're going to have a district here, we can't have the water doing that. Give that an overflow. Maybe move the cam from the rig. Well, I could do, I suppose. The, the thing is, the camera that I have here is a better quality than the one than the two on the rig. So that's why I use this camera, because it's just a better camera. But it, it overheats. It's just annoying. It's my own fault. I shouldn't let the room get too warm. Get the explosives going. Now, I think we may need to have more people as well. Also, we need to uh, get the water flowing. We don't have enough. 26 vacancies. You see, that's a lot of vacancies. It's a lot of vacancies, that is. Time to build some homes. There's actually room over here. one by one, a roof one by two. Sure, why not? Teeth grindstone, rooftop terrace, campfire, up into campfire. That's massive! An Agora. 400 signs, blimey. A perfect place to relax by the river. <laughs> Requires access to water. This sounds fun. What's this? Oh, I see. You've got to... Can I put it, like, on a platform or something? Got to do that kind of thing. It's like a... It's like a roped-off swimming area or something. You have spare beds, but there's no time of the day for them to have baby beavers. Well, how many hours do they need? It doesn't take long to make a baby beaver, does it? What's wrong with them? Uh, don't you need a road in front of the second stairs? You just have to spoil things, don't you, Camps in Flint? I was going to put something nice there, but no! We have to put a road there! is starting to take shape problem is we now need to sort of take away all this and that's going to be tricky
technically speaking, we don't need that either. Oh, wow, we've cleared that already. Look at this. Blimey. They have been busy. Okay. So what we're aiming for is like three squares through here. As we can do it like... That runs through there like that. And that's like your power run through there. Uh, Pim Martins, thank you for 11 months. Night Gaming, thank you for tier 3, sir, and double top 40 months. Now we could... Detonate that away. Or we'll just work with it. How high does it need to be? So the bad water is going to flow through here. The dam was going to about here. gone. The problem is you can't compare heights of things. <laughs> we'll figure out the pathing in a minute. I need to figure the bigger problem out first. Right, so this is the top level, which means you have three cubes of water, four if you include this one. Yeah, this is the surf. This is the bottom of the dam. This is not. This is, forget that. This is the bottom of the dam here. And we're just going to get rid of this. So if this is the bottom, then this lot needs to go. Which means all of that is wrong, because all of that needs to detonate. But notionally, this is where it's going to be. Is there a quick way of doing this? Demolish. Like I say, we're going to need a lot of explosives. even as other side. I don't know what that means. Let me give them another way down here. He meant the height of the walls was correct, identical, right. Were they taking this? Oh yeah, the What the one I had? Huh? Salt and pepper. I think it was just salted. No, you can't open them and try them. Thief. Awesome. Can I have a drink? <laughs> Hey? Oh, tea. Hmm. 
Hey, camera's working for a bit. Right, no word of a lie. You see, remember this tin of cashews? Do you remember this? Last time I streamed, I said to you I'd bought these M&S cashews, right? So I had some of them. And then I took them inside, had a few more. And then I left them in the bedroom, half a tin. Mrs. Squirrel helped herself. She went in there and I was like, are you kidding me? You just, <laughs> you just eaten all my cashews. <laughs> So she's gone and bought me some more, right? But I'm sure the ones I bought were just salt, salted cashews. And these are salt and black pepper. So I don't think they're the same. Are they making babies now? They are actually, aren't they? 27 vacancies, 27 kids. Guys, we need more. Are they better than cashews? I don't know. The salted cashews are really nice. I don't know what salt and pepper ones are going to be like. I mean, they're nice, but I definitely, definitely didn't have the pepper ones. I would have remembered. Nine point seven, nine point seven. Yeah, I might, I might have half the tub and then tells to take him back to Minas. To be honest, no one Minas. They'd probably just give you a refund. Even though you're like, I didn't like them. Why is our supply? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold the phone. What's going on? I know what's going on. Bad things are happening because... That needs to open up. The bad water's completely filling up and overflowing. I'm thinking, why are we getting no power through here? Now I know why. The bad water should not be going that way. <laughs> there we go. We've got some power again. Not a lot, mind you. Interesting how it managed to flood that. See that, Callum? Uh, that's what it is. It's just a natural thing. That shouldn't really be a problem. Under normal circumstances. It's actually flooded that, though, now. <laughs> Annoyingly. Oh, well. I agree, Captain Flint. You see, that's where Factorio wins. Because in fact, Oreo, you could set up that kind of logic. Okay. 
crisis averted. Now we've got another crisis. Am I just lighting too much through here or what? Thank you. There's too much water coming into this area now, so we need to let some out, I think. I swear, Tom. The mention of the word Factorio summons Tom Sunday. It's unbelievable. I don't think we normally need this overflow. Right. Normality has been resumed. 96 explosives means we're making more. We are hopefully making bad water, but not quickly enough by the look of it. I think we could do with some powered bad water extractors because this is taking up four people. And frankly, we don't need to take up four people. So I'm thinking this might be a good spot because this is already recessed. So what we could perhaps do is put like a couple of bad water pumps. Wait, where's the... Wait a minute. Is there no equivalent large bad water pump? A fluid dump discharges water or bad water. Are you serious? You literally have to mine it with... You can't just pump it. Bad water contamination slows down pumping speed. That is ridiculous. Why is there no large bad water pump? That makes no sense. That makes no sense. Well, that's disappointing. Seems like either an oversight or a deliberate restriction on the on the side of the game devs. There's no large water pump at all with iron tails. What, they don't even have a large water pump? That's nuts. The equivalent of a bad water would be the bad water rig. What's that? Well, you've got water pump, bad water pump, large water pump, no large water, bad water pump. You have a bad water cap to extract large volume of bad water. So is the game basically saying that what you should actually be doing is just putting a rig on it and extracting it from source? Which is a 4K science. 150 metal, 200 sparkly planks. I can build that. 400 gears though, that is brutal. That is brutal, 400 gears. You need bots to make it build safer. 
I don't know. It's flowing away. I reckon you could easily chuck that there. I'm thinking a bunch of guys could easily build that without getting too bad. They're flowing in fresh water. What could possibly go wrong? I'm going to cap it. I could do it during a drought, but we just had a drought. It will be underwater so it won't work. Wait, nobody said that. Why does it not... <laughs> Why does it not work underwater? Well... Hmm, that sucks. I mean, I could divert the water around it, but that's just ridiculous. I'd have to take, I'd have to trim that back to do it. I'll just send all the water that way. Okay, well, I'm not going to stress it too much at the moment. We're making enough bad water to make the dynamite. Crack on with the main structure. God, they're taking forever. This is such a big project. I need so much dynamite. Two, three, build. I want to keep the flow rate going as well. Yeah, so that's the... The idea is that this is both the bad water and the good water dam. Same wall. That's the idea. I don't think the stairs will work either. I'll have a nice footpath around the dam for inspection purposes. You may need contamination blocks on the top of the levees of the dam wall, not 100% sure. Hmm. You may be right, Beaker. You may be right about that, actually. 
actually, I don't know. I don't know if a levy allows the... Oh, God. Wait a minute. Where's the contamination block? Contamination barrier. Stop soil contamination from spreading beneath it. Must be built on the ground. Well, that's no good. That means I can't build it on top of this anyway. I have to build it on the ground. I don't know. How that will work. That could be an issue. No, I don't think you can build anything on top of that. I think that has to sit on the ground. It's, it's like a barrier that goes through the soil. So you're saying I basically have to not use levees. I have to use ground, which I need signs for, and then put the contamination barrier on it. Well, I don't know how it works. It depends how the game models it. Because if the bad water flows through here, it won't go through that. But will it go down through the ground and then through that way? That's the bit I don't know. What you could do is have... You could basically put a contamination barrier on all the inside to stop it coming through. You know what I mean? So you could put you could put one there like that and then put one here, one here, one here just like draw the inside line of the levee wall and that way it can't come through the ground that might work I don't know if it's going to um, how it's going to model it You've had mixed results. Hmm. Like, you know, that's two blocks high. So will it come through there? Probably not. That's a levy block, and then... It depends if the contamination can go, go down into that block, and then along underneath the wall to here, and then back into the water. I don't know how it models it. If it does go under the block, we could put the contamination layer down on the inside of the dam. It depends if it goes down and then across, or whether it only goes across. Dave! 84 months! <laughs> yeah, Dave, I'm actually doing work now. How you doing, mate? You think the ground will look contaminated, but the water should be okay? I think it may be a case of having to uh, try it and find out for science. Let's see the only way I can think of doing this. Seven years, Dave. 84 months. Um, is that seven? That is seven years. Seven, yeah, that is that is seven years anniversary, Dave. That's insane, mate. 
I can't believe I'm still talking to you after seven day, seven years, Dave. That's amazing. Miss Olya, thank you for 97 months. <laughs> Uh-oh. Listen, Dave, we both like beer, we both like kebabs. That's that's enough for any any basis of friendship right there. That's all you need. So I'm thinking we can, up here, we can do that little trick. Create a squad thingy. Just bore that out with dynamite. Flood it with water. Make all this uh, growable. I might get all of this knocked out just to tidy it up. How many squares around it does it do again? Water box there, so it must go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. So There's ten blocks in either, in all directions. Is that right? Nine to ten ish. Which means water here wouldn't be enough to green all of that up. You need another one here. It's still doable. Right, how many vacancies? 14. 25 kids, come on. Oh, we're actually storing bad water now. That's good. God, love it. Nighttime detonations. <laughs> Right. Of course, there's always a stupid piece of resource in the way. Taking some milk in all this lot, but they've done that at least. Okay, we can get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay, that's that side of the wall's ready. Got to come across here now.
Problem is, where do we go across? Thinking like along that line though, maybe. Could really do with that being scrapped. That like that. actually get this come back game I still don't have a surplus of workers I'm slightly worried about the food situation because I've not actually not actually grown any extra food for a long time but I have been adding to the population I've got 2k of bread. Those berries literally never get eaten and they've never gone off. The diet is very, very carb heavy. Yeah, they are a last resort. I don't blame them, but they really should eat the berries just to get some fruit in the diet. I need more grow potatoes. A lot more of them. We don't have anywhere near enough. That never used to have bad water in it. <laughs> I did that. Five scrap metal. We're actually full up on metal blocks. That's interesting. All right, Mickey. Have a good one. If you grow other food stuff, they will eat less spuds rather than just growing more and more spuds. Yeah, but like what? We're growing cattail. Everywhere. I thought we were growing the, um, what's it called? Spadadoc. Or something. What's the food thing? Sunflower, weeds, cattail, spadadoc. Aquatic. Must be partially submerged in water. Yeah, what's that? Why is that not growing? That must be out of range. That's all cattail through here. The range on that is there. We could potentially grow in this area. This is always full of water. And the dam will help to buffer it. And the problem is, it's quite far from the district.
gathers cattail root and spider dock. So that would collect the spider dock. What do we do to convert it? Oh, I hate these icons. Right, what's the icon for spider dock? Cattail, spider, right, looks like that. Looks like a leaf and a flower. So then, the Better log converts into three. Okay. So we can build, we might have to build on the platforms. How big is the aquatic thing? Three by two. So I'm thinking a couple of floating thingies. in the middle, they can reach the entire area and then they can bring them back to the grill house so we need I can build one So, and then the feed into the middle. down something like that And then we just fill that with spider dock, and then we'll need to grill it. And the problem is a lot of our grilling is done over here. Um, which is that thing. And a grill doesn't need power, which is nice. So where do we want to grill? I suppose this is dead, but that's powered. I don't want to use that space. Could use this, but then that can be grown on. And if you want to get it back to the base to be eaten, you don't want to be too far away. Hmm. I reckon these platforms should be linked. Looks like you've maxed out some wheat production. You could swap some wheat for sunflower. I don't want to hit the bread chain, though. I, it does concern me, because if I change that wheat for sunflower, and then we don't make enough bread, it'll take a while for that to materialize, and then we all starve. I think I'd rather overproduce on spatter dock and stuff and then do it. And then at least we've got alternative food supply. So this area here is all growable.
I suppose we could sacrifice some of this land and put the grills on that. It just means he can't grow underneath it, but there's quite a lot of grow space here. Heck, you could even do it here. We're not going to grow anything here, are we? How big's the grill? The grill is... What's that? Three by three? Two by two? It's two by two, isn't it? Right, spatter dock. I'll put that on a low priority build for now. Yeah, I'll do the path in a sec. Also need somewhere for them to store that stuff. Right, uh, plant crop. Right, I guess we want storage to be nearby. So we'll need storage for the spatter dock, presumably. Does that go in a warehouse? That doesn't go in a pile, does it? And then I think one goes to three, doesn't it? Is it one to three, the grill ratio? Yes. Has anyone mentioned to you if they've seen a Pippa in their Rim World game? Nah, Onamichi. I, I, I literally, like, out of all the people I know that play Rim World, the chances of anybody seeing Pippa yet are pretty slim. But one day, maybe. Who knows? Like, it would have the nickname of Squirrel as well. Noel, 2021. Thank you for 64 months, sir. Thank you for the bits on Amici, by the way. 
Uh, Mr. Bongo, eight years, 96 months. Have you figured out how to use a second district? Not in this version of the game, no. I did multiple districts when they restricted how far each district could go, but I've not done it in this one. But I will do as soon as we get round to building enough space for it. Kind of want local storage. I think we're just going to use this land. Unfortunately. Annoyingly. Medium warehouse. How much does it hold? 200. That's not going to be enough. That's going to store the spider dock. And then... Spider dock, there it is. So they can punt it into there. And then if we put something over here that requests it, then that should bring it for them more locally to eat, is what I'm thinking. So we maybe put a medium one in there. A request grill spatter dock. There you go. And that way the haulers will move it to where they need it. You try your best in to get them in room world, it'll take hours. Dude, I there's probably thousands, Stimpy. There's probably thousands of possible characters. The chances of getting Pippa are really slim. It's like playing the lottery. But if you see it, oh, that'd be so cool. Sock here with 113 months tier three. Paul messed up. Forgot to sign up for Sebring 12 hours again. <laughs> Do you know what? I don't even know when that is. It was eight. Wasn't that in February? Miko, thank you for 39 months. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, was that? To, was it really? Genuinely, though. I mean, you know what? Thing is, right? Do you reckon you'll get random rain? In Sebring. Because that's terrifying. Jimmy has rain. Yikes. That's all I can say to that. Yikes. I didn't know the real Sebring was on the sudden, honestly. Oh, can you imagine, Beaker? Nighttime rain and eye racing. Can you imagine? Oh, 
not that I was planting already. I think I've got a lot of infrastructure projects going on here. I mean, iRacing is just... It, it's full of amateurs. It's 99% amateurs. The idea of just, like, dynamic rain and nighttime just fills me with dread. I can't imagine how chaotic it will get. He's watching Quirk can barely see anything. Yep. What you need to do is probably find the right graphics settings so that the rain has, like, the least effect on you visually. I know it's a bit hacky, but... Pfft. What's the highest triple flood glaze? That's the highest we can put in is that. I don't think we need that many through there. I think we basically line up three like that and then three like that. See, I need to get rid of these. Can I just mark them for destruction and just go away? There's no way you can prioritize this stuff. It's really annoying. So you've got these, like, scavengers here, and they'll come and get the stuff, but you can't say to them, or I don't know how you can say to them, get rid of these two before you do any of them. Like, if I try to assign a priority to that, I can't see any priority assigned. It's weird. So the only recourse is to say, well, demolish them, and then max out the demolish priority. But even then, I don't think it's going to work. And you can't delete them. It's not classed as rubble. It's not classed as a building. It's just a resource without priority. It's a bit frustrating, that. Oh man, they've not done that one yet. Biggest gap between first and second place for each of the four classes is 1.1 second. That's close racing. In the rain. I bet you get shunted so much. Like people just not getting the braking right. Just hitting the back of you. I bet that happens a lot.
That's a lot of dynamite. Wow, I don't think I've seen these down more than about 10 or 20%. <laughs> Just crazy amounts of power storage. And we can actually build another one. Keep forgetting to detonate this. Ah, oh, throw some grenades down there, Jeff. See, I could, in theory, cap that. And if I capped it, we could extract bad water from it. But that would stop that flow. However, we could allow water to flow through here and power. But on balance, I think it's better the way it is. I think I'd rather get the bad water from somewhere else. Like, there's one over here somewhere there, I think. Oh, that's scraps. There's the... Where's the water, gem? There's one there. So that one's no use. We can cap that. We could easily cap that, actually. No Slam has told a lie in Discord server, Larry. Why? What's he done? What was the lie? I've not capped any yet. I just really noticed I've got 16,000 signs. These things absolutely massacre signs. Also, we've got five people doing nothing. How does that work? Okay, drought coming in three days. Hmm. If only I had a dam. <laughs> The drought is the ideal time to run a cap up there, isn't it? All we would need is a way to get there. Um, the, what, the one on the left is closer? You mean this one over here? We could get that one. I suppose it is closer, technically, yeah. The problem with this one, though, is we have to modify the land around it because we can't have the building flooded. And that's an issue in of itself. We'd have to, like, levy around it or something. It's doable. But it would affect the water flow in this area. But, you know, we could send the water that way. I mean, a, well, a plant, effectively. Yeah, like one of these things, a bad water rig. So we can extract bad water from it. We don't, strictly speaking, need it. Like, we've got plenty of bad water going on. But I could free up some workers. But somehow I have eight people not doing anything. Could just create another hauling post, I suppose. Or just create some more explosives. It's like I can't get enough explosives. Why is that metal? Oh, I see. Yeah. 
Where's the dynamite? Explosives. Go detonate the ones on the research hill. If they've built them. Not yet. I'm asking him to build a lot of stuff, that's the problem. How much is that? It's 4,000 signs. It takes 150 metal, which we have, 200 treated planks that we have, and 400 cogs. Jeez, I'll literally take all of our cogs. And also the bad water is then produced over here and we've got to haul it all the way down here. That's a real pain. No, XR, it's not even shown in the game, but the most annoying thing about using F to flip buildings, the most annoying thing is that like, for some buildings it works, yeah? So you can move the entrance. But for, for other buildings, like the um, this one, because the entrance is in the middle, it doesn't do anything. It just changes the design, which is the most useless thing ever. There's just not enough variation in the buildings so that you can lay things out and fit them in nice spaces. I don't think they're going to grab that. This thing needs to disappear, actually. I don't need this anymore, apart from to get over here. They need another way of getting here, because I need to remove all that. I suppose I could... Take them up that way, I guess. It's going to have to be that, I think. Oh, they can actually travel over the top of this thing, if we did it right. Okay, we'll do that. Do that. Do that, and then we can get rid of all this. What's up, Jack? Jeez, man. <laughs> Stimpy. That made me jump. I clicked on a square and it went, What's up, Jack? I was like, What the heck? None of the signs who cares. One, two, three. I'm going to have to leave that for now, otherwise, it'll affect the way that flows completely, but we can do that. So much dynamite. Mr. Bryla, I think, if it gives some to Exar. One point nine days to drought. I've not even started building this stuff yet. I 
I think we need another hauling post. I don't have enough stuff going around. Um, where's the hauling district post? There it is. Let's build a hauling post over here. And then we've got stuff being moved around at this end of the map. Do we have ten vacancies? And that's a lot. At some point we need to do something with this area. This is the factory. I think that bad water is being consumed greater than they're actually producing it now. We might have to make some more bad water pumps. Jason. Jeez, that was some quick dynamite lane. Annoyingly, they can't... Well, they haven't put that one down yet. When this dam is finished, it's going to be a very big block of water. <laughs> um, don't think that's right. Build that hauling thing yet. Five of five. Ten of ten, pal. All the haulers. Get stuff done round here. I don't understand why they're not building that. Right, half a day left. 
Okay. Right. Save that there and pause it. We are out of time today, guys. I'm going to be back in the morning because we've gone 8 o'clock. I need to stop, otherwise I'll just carry on playing all night. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Um, so I'm going to stop here. However, in the morning, we've got to deal with that drought, and I reckon tomorrow we can finish off this dam and get this power network going. Have the bad water going that way, power generation through there. Big project going on here, big, big project. Also got all this spatter duck coming on nicely. Although we have nowhere to grill it or store it yet, but that's beside the point. Um, that's store spider dock. I'm going to just make sure that that is saved. It's over already. Yep. I've been playing for like over eight hours, so we've done quite a bit. <laughs> but yeah, I need to go grab some food and stuff. Thank you for watching, guys. Sorry the camera died again. Um, I'll put the aircon on now, so it should be all right for tomorrow. It's only 4 p.m. Yeah, it's for you. <laughs> Not for me. Right. Yes, it's do it's going well. I'm happy where it's going. There's still lots more to do, and we still don't have a second district. What I'd like to do tomorrow is get the dam done, and I'd also like to get this, this area here, online as some kind of second district, growing things and extracting that, etc., and then we can sort of expand this way. Because right now, all our beavers are in one place. And I want a second district. Yeah, Dad's on the tour. Absolutely, mate. Yeah, 6am. Sure. Yeah, early start. You, you be here at 6. And, and I'll be here... Not long after. <laughs> yeah, I ain't scared up for the F1, mate. I'm going to get up and watch the F1 before the stream. I am not getting up to watch that race live. Heck no. Anyway, have a good rest of your day. Hopefully I'll catch you tomorrow. Uh, starts 11 o'clock on Sunday. And I reckon we can do some good work tomorrow. That's it from me. Take it easy, guys. Love you all.